Welcome back to We're Having Fun. I nearly messed it up. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's just in my head. Hey, what's up, hey. y'all? You? Hey. How's it going? What's up? We're here. We're watching movies. Mm-hmm. It's Marvel Mania today. Oh, it is. It yes. Definitely. <laughs> so this is going to be a very nerdy episode. I'm uh-huh. Mark, by the way. Oh, I'm Krista. Hi, and, Krista. And uh, normally we have Wilson yeah. with us in the room, but he's not here today. He's not here, he is, sadly. He is uh, spending some time. Time with, with Daddy. <laughs> yeah, with, yeah, with my ex. <laughs> so. Yeah, so if the episode's not as good, that's why. Yeah, that's why. We don't have him here. He's, he's not our little good luck he's charm He's our cheerleader. Today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keeping us on track. Cheering us on, and cheering us on, and going to drink water in the middle of the episode, and making Mark have to cut a lot of stuff out, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> valuable member of this team. <laughs> but yes, a lot of a lot of stuff going on this week. Mm-hmm. Obviously, um, we we talked about this beforehand. There's a new Doctor Who. Yeah, which is cool. Yep, I'm not caught up on the. Uh, current season and i think i missed part of the last season also but hopefully i think they're coming in with a new showrunner also at the same time or maybe the new showrunner is doing it now i'm not really sure (laughs) it's technically i think an old showrunner that has come back yeah (laughs) and it was like somebody that everybody really liked okay i think so maybe it'll get really good again i don't know we'll hope so yeah I've never seen, I've seen a couple episodes because of say, you. I was going to say, you can't say you've never seen it. You've I've never seen, seen a whole season, I guess. No. You've seen probably like three episodes. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that seems, seems about right. <laughs> you've seen two Christopher Eccleston <laughs> ones, yeah. I think, and... Oh, Is it a Tenant was, movie? Maybe a Tenant. tenant yeah. Probably a Tenant. Yeah. So, and they're good. I just, I don't know why I just never watch them. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, you know, there's a whole season that has a character or a character, a uh, an actress from The Office in it. That's true. And Not it's, our favorite Office. Member. No, but it probably is my favorite season of Doctor Who. So. Oh, I thought you were gonna say The Office. No, like that's a hot take. <laughs> that is not my take. <laughs> that is a not take right there. Uh, no, that is definitely not my favorite. I yeah. did. I did not like that character at first, but she grew on me. Okay. Yeah. I, I like her in other things. Apparently, mm-hmm. her new Netflix show isn't great, but uh, otherwise. She's done a lot of fun stuff. I cannot think of her name right now. I always forget it. Like I literally five I, seconds after you tell me, I always forget. I always it. forget her name on the office too. It was Nelly. Nelly, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I always forget. Sorry, actress. <laughs> what is her name? You're cool. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. Yeah. But she played Donna Noble. Okay. That was her character in Doctor Who. Okay. One of the better companions for the Doctor. Nice. Or at least to me. Yeah. She's top tier. No. <laughs> <laughs> you got Tenet and you've got her yeah. together. Pretty nice. Nice. Anyway. Is there any other news we should talk about beforehand? Oh, well, I don't know if I would call this news, but uh, today is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Happy Mother's mothers. Day. <laughs> I drove home to see my mom and yep. I hit a squirrel on the way. So. Oh. <laughs> well, this episode's cursed. <laughs> thought it was already dead because it was just <laughs> laying in the middle of the road as so i was like well i'll just drive over you know drive over where it is because it's it's clearly dead it's not moving are you talking about straddling it yeah straddling. Or you're like, okay because when you no, say I'm, I'm just gonna drive no over where i was it not is. no was, i'm just gonna do some donuts on it right quick <laughs> <laughs> it's no. dead. Who cares? No. No, it's just going to straddle it, you know? Okay. And, and then as I was getting closer to it, it jumped up and started running. Oh, and I was like, no, no, it's not dead. Oh. And then I was like, oh, oh now it's dead. Oh, oh, that's so sad. And then, of course, I had to drive by its dead body Yeah, on the way back. So. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that is the worst. I Hitting animals is awful yeah growing up on the farm whenever just rabbits would constantly oh, yeah. across the road it's yeah like, oh, it's, it's, God. Like, oh, it's like no 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 and you can't <laughs> it, usually you can't stop you yeah know? Uh, yeah we just end up hurting it's just more like people so. well it's like well shoot well i guess you know. you're dead now sorry bro I, there was one time i um um i was driving down the road and <laughs> 
a raccoon oh. ran out, but not just a raccoon, a no. raccoon and baby raccoon. No. This is the worst star of an episode we've ever had. <laughs> I, I got home, I was like, Mom, I think, oh. I, think I ran over a whole family of raccoons. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I hate it. So happy Mother's Day. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, so anyway, Moon Knight was on. Um, oh, I thought we were. I thought we uh, were talking yeah. about trailers and stuff. We, sure, we can. <laughs> I, just, I needed to get away from that okay. as fast as possible. Okay, what what do we got? All right, so lots of trailers have come out recently, mm-hmm. and then also, of course, we went to the movie theater to mm-hmm. see uh, Senior Strange. Mm-hmm. And while we were there, we saw trailers there. Yeah. So, some of the trailers that have come out recently. Uh huh. A new Obi Wan Kenobi trailer. Oh yeah. Came out this week. Yeah. So saw that. Watch that one. Looks pretty cool. Does look good. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be fun. I like the part where he is talking to Uncle Owen. Uh huh. And he's like, "I'm gonna have to train him at some point." And he's like, "Oh, like you did his father." Yeah. And it's just like, good oh. job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. You got him. Lots of interesting new characters that will be in it. I know nothing about them. I know that they're Inquisitors. Yeah. And there's like the High Inquisitor or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's the one that people are like, he doesn't look anything like the cartoons. Yeah. Like, well, the cartoon looks dumb. I'm like, I, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy I mean, chill. Uh, the guy who's playing him is the guy who plays like in the Hitman movies. Oh. As the Hitman. as like Wait, Agent- which Hitman? 47 or whatever it's called. Is that what it is? Agent? Yeah, he's it's like Agent based 47. It's based on the video games? Yeah. Is there more than one? Yeah, because I think the in... first Hitman was the guy who played the sheriff in The Mandalorian. Was it? That had hmm. Boba Fett's armor. I think so. Well, this is not that guy. It's this guy who looks like Orlando Bloom, but is not Orlando Bloom. Orlando whom? <laughs> <laughs> Timothy Oliphant? That is not him. Isn't that the sheriff? Yes. Yeah, so that was the one in 2007. And then, what was the next one? Agent 47. Played by Rupert Friend. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the guy. Does he look like Orlando Bloom? Kind of? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Yeah, so, okay. So he's going to be the High Inquisitor, I think. Okay. Or whatever it's called. It could not, it it may not be called that. I don't know. I have no idea. It's characters from some. Some cartoon series that yeah, I watched. Yeah, probably Clone Wars or something. Probably, because yeah. that would be the correct time period, I think. Mm-hmm. Although, I guess it could be, maybe it could be... Rebels. Rebels. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully it's good. Any other trailer? Um, There's a trailer for House of the Dragon. What? The prequel oh, the to Game of Thrones. <laughs> Game of Thrones. Oh, <laughs> All yeah. about the Targaryens. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of dragons. There was like a dragon okay, egg in that there. That makes sense. Eh, I don't really know. I can't decide if I would. I don't know why. I just don't care about Game of Thrones anymore. Well, I it, was in it so hard for a couple years. Yeah, I was too. And then yeah. I don't know. I, don't um, know. I didn't even see the bad seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Thank your lucky stars for that because they were bad. Yeah. I don't know. I might watch it. It's got like what's his name? Reese Iphens. Is okay. that his name? I have no idea. I think so. Um, it's Darby. got... Uh, no, I wish I had Reese Darby. <laughs> oh, I would watch anything with Reese Darby, probably. Yeah. Does anybody um, have recent name? John Reese Davies. Reese Darby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all of them. Make a movie with them. <laughs> and it's got Matt Smith in it. Oh, okay. So he plays like one of the Targaryens. Yeah, but um, he was in... He was in Morbius. So yeah, he was. Doesn't guarantee good stuff. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, so that's coming out in, I want to say it's in September, maybe August. I can't okay. remember. But, yep, yeah, that'll be coming out. All right. And then, of course, we saw some trailers yeah. that looked real good, like that, that family first camp. Oh, my, oh gosh. my gosh. Could that have looked worse? I, it was like maybe two seconds into it. I was like, I'm going to hate this. Yeah. It didn't, and yeah, stayed the same mm-hmm. the whole time. And it's apparently, it's, I, I can't tell if it's like a sketch group or like some kind of YouTube thing. Kind of like how Broken yeah. Lizard does the like super troopers and all that stuff. Yeah. 
But this is a bad sketch group. <laughs> I don't know who they are, but... And I couldn't... F- it's real bad. It took me a while to even figure out what the name of it was, because I know it said the name, but I thought that it, it was called something else. Yeah. Because I was confusing Family Camp with the name of the camp in the movie, which is what I wrote down. Oh. And I was like, why can't I find this anywhere? Because, uh, first of all, <sighs> trying to write notes in the dark theater... <laughs> I couldn't Apparently tell. Apparently it's not easy. I was like, it starts with a K. Yeah. I think it's got a T in it. That looks like a T. <laughs> and other than that, did not know. We need, we need an Alamo draft house here so because they have little lights under the table mm. so you can see the menu. You can just write your little notes down mm-hmm. there. Okay. So let's lobby for that. <laughs> let's change around here. Okay. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it did not look It looks so bad. Uh it, it's going to be terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I basically, I finally had to go, okay, there was one person in that movie that I know from somewhere else. And it, she was the mom on Good Luck Charlie on oh, the Disney no, Channel. <laughs> it's like a Disney Channel yeah. TV show. Yeah, I think I've heard of And that. that's the only thing that I have ever, like every other person in there, I was like, who are these people? Yeah. I don't recognize anyone. Yeah, and they and so, weren't good. Yeah, so that's how I had to find it, was by yeah. looking her up. Okay. So, but I did find it. It's good detective work. So, there we go. There you go. Don't see it. <laughs> no, because let's just say we're not going to cover it on this. Yep. Because I'm not going to see it. Nope. So after that, we did see the um, trailer, which we've seen it before, for Jurassic Park. Although I think this is a mm-hmm. new trailer. Yeah, it, just, it seems new. Yeah, it's a little bit different. It piqued my interest. Okay. Mainly because I like, I'm a softie for getting everybody mm-hmm. together from past and present movies, getting them all together for a big, big movie. Yeah. That's why I got excited for Fantastic Beasts, I think. And I, that okay. worked out. Uh. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm excited. I'm kind of excited about it. I also, I don't really like the Jurassic World movies. Yeah. I didn't see the second one. Uh, the first one wasn't they're, bad. They're fine they're yeah. okay i still I, I still love the original jurassic park and everything yeah. else just pales in comparison for yeah. me to that one yeah but i mean we are gonna have some of the old characters back uh-huh so maybe 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 it'll be okay i mean unless they get spielberg back on there or something probably not mm-hmm. but you know uh, I'm willing to give it a chance, though. Yeah. Plus, oh, mm, hopefully it will be the last one. Uh, yeah. It, it seemed like if, it was... I mean, the way that... They were tying it yeah, up. The way that they're bringing everybody into it, it seems like that's what they're going for. Yeah. So, hopefully that will be the end of it, and then... Yeah. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Yeah. I may check it out. Even... I, I don't even know if I'm going to see the second one. Just go check this one out. Yeah. I don't know that I need to see the second one. You probably don't. <laughs> you probably don't. Yeah. Honestly. So, after that... That we saw the trailer for Lightyear, which we have also seen and talked yeah. about. Probably, well, I don't know if we've talked about it really, but yeah, this one probably got me a little more interested in the movie because okay. until now, I, I really didn't care. Yeah, I, it showed a little more because uh, before it would just show, you know, it showed Buzz. Yeah, and it was basically all about Buzz and maybe the little robot cat. Thing. Yeah, and then this it actually showed some of the other characters and it yeah. kind of showed a little bit of the story. You know, like hey, he went off on this mission it was only supposed to be like yeah a few seconds or whatever and he comes back and it's been like 60 years right and all the people that he was that he knew before are gone yeah so it's like his best friend's granddaughter or whatever is there yeah so my only worry is i think they're trying to make that cat really funny yeah and i don't think it's working i don't think so either who's the voice of that cat i don't know i can't remember it, it sounds very familiar you might want to look and it up i know i, I know who it is I have no idea. Peter Son. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Who are you? Been in a lot of Pixar stuff, apparently. Is he the voice of Baymax? Um, I don't think so, but... Um, he was Squishy in Monsters University, the pet collector in The Good Dinosaur, Emil in Ratatouille, the art department in Up, <laughs> CCO in Luca. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this person. Mm. A very familiar voice, though. Unless Socks is not... It? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I don't know who else it would be. But anyway, I don't know. I, I'm I'm not sold it's going to be amazing. It's one that I, I will eventually watch, I'm sure. Yeah. But I don't know if I want to go to the theater to see it. Yeah. I think I, think I can wait for a Disney yeah. Plus release on that. Now, who's doing the voice of Buzz? Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Okay. Yeah. I can never remember if it's Chris Evans or Chris Pine. Yeah. But I was thinking Evans. 
Yeah. But still. I didn't know Taika Waititi was in it until this trailer. Oh, he is in it? Yeah, he's one of the... So he like, is that guy. Okay, oh, because there was one guy talking and I was like, that's a New Zealand accent. Yeah. I bet this is someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you got to have James Brolin as the bad guy, Emperor Zerg. Oh, he's Emperor Zerg? <laughs> yeah. Nice. If you need a big bad guy... You gotta bring in Brolin. A big, isn't he like, doesn't he wear a lot of purple too? So it's like a big purple bad guy. <laughs> He's typecast. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Get ready for that Barney movie where Barney goes bad. <laughs> Barney goes bad. Oh goodness. With Brolin. Well, we've already had that, but it was, it was with uh, Edward Norton. What was oh, that? Oh, Death of Smoochie. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that in theaters when it came out. Oh boy. I didn't mind it, but it's a weird movie, man. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, there's also, of course, Thor, Love, and Thunder, which we've already talked about. Yep. Yeah. So. Nothing really new in this trailer. No. Still excited about it, though. Yeah. I'm wondering, because it looks like at one point he plants Stormbreaker. Uh-huh. And that's made, like, it's made of Groot. It's oh. Like, I'm wondering if it... Groot? <laughs> or no, I'm wondering if it grows a tree and it's like the Idrisil. new Idrisil. Yeah, that's cool. That'd be a good idea. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm pretty excited to do see you, it. Do you think, because they do this in those Marvel trailers where mm-hmm. they like cut it differently, take people out and that mm-hmm. are in there. Do you think whenever Chris Pratt's delivering that line of like, of the people you love looking at, he's looking at his team. Mm-hmm. You think, you think they're going to have Gamora there? Because does he really love that team like that much? Yeah, I don't know. I think th- I think they're gonna. I think Gamora's gonna be standing there, and they've just cut her out. And then and then Thor's gonna be getting in there. Well, there's also another spot where Thor and uh, Korg. Korg are standing there, but the way it's framed, uh huh. Thor is in the in the middle of the frame, and Korg is over to the side, and there's just this empty spot right there. Oh, it's like, so should somebody be there? Maybe. Because you know, of course they take people out. Because you know yeah. they took the you know they took Andrew Garfield and yeah. um, and uh, Tobias <laughs> Toby McGuire. <laughs> Tobias McGuire <laughs> and Tobey Maguire out of the trailer because people are like. Well, what are these people fighting here? <laughs> They're know, taking them out. The lizard's yeah. just falling backwards for no reason. It's like it's clearly he's clearly been punched by something. You know, it's like well, yeah. okay, <laughs> just a gust of wind. Exactly. So yeah, they it's possible. Yeah, it's very possible. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that movie. So should that should be, be fun. And then the last one that we have to talk about, well, we don't really have to talk about it because we're probably <laughs> just going to go, eh, don't care. The new Avatar movie, oh, Avatar, right. The Way of Water. I thought that trailer looked awful. Like, because n- nothing, there was nothing. Like, no sound. I mean, there might have been music. There was music. Nobody saying anything for mm-hmm. a long time. And then they say some random stuff. And it's like, what is happening? Here? Everybody's losing their minds about, oh my gosh, they mo captured water and it looks so real i don't care yeah that they mo capped water it, that's the thing about the first avatar movie it looked great it looked fantastic he did a lot of great things in the movie mm-hmm. but it sucked <laughs> that movie was terrible it was very unmemorable yeah and the thing is i didn't see it in the theater and i know people were like you have to see it in the theater it's yeah so because much the story is the terrible <laughs> And then I didn't, because I didn't care in the first place. Yeah. And then I watched it, and I was like, what is the big deal about this? I yeah. don't understand why everybody is freaking out about it. Yeah. Yeah, if you just watch it normally, it's yeah. just whatever. But yeah, I saw it like 3D, and it looked great. I was going to say, and yeah, but... also it was in 3D. I don't like 3D movies. Yeah. I don't like the gimmick. I don't like having to wear glasses on top of my glasses. Yeah. It's very annoying. My And there are a lot of people who just can't do 3D movies. My mother, for one. Yeah. She can't do 3D movies. Yeah. Makes her sick. Right. So... It happens to a lot of people. And there's, like, <laughs> Hank Green from the Vlogbrothers made these... They're called 2D glasses, I think, where it takes 3D. Like, oh, you, you can wear 2D. those to a 3D movie. Nice. And, and it puts it back into 2D. That's basically cool. so that people who do get sick can still go and watch movies in 3D without... That's cool. So... That's good. Yeah. It felt like... They were just putting out a trailer just to show off their water thing. I don't think they have any kind of, like, story going. They're building stuff. There's going to be a war, apparently. Whatever. When is there not? <laughs> yeah. Welcome to every other movie. Yeah. I don't know. I've, like I said, I've never been that interested. 
I wouldn't mind going to see, like, going to Disney World to, they have, like, their little Avatar land. And yeah. I heard it looks really cool. Sure, yeah. I wouldn't mind going to, see, to do that because there are, like, two rides there. One of the rides I don't really care. It's just, like, a little boat ride. And, you know, they have really good animatronics and stuff. Yeah. It looks really lifelike. And then um, the other one is one where you... It's like you're flying on whatever those things yeah, are. I don't know what they're called because I don't dragon, remember... Dragon, pterodactyl The names things. of anything yeah. in the movie. Yeah. But you're, like, riding on that. And you're, like... It's like you're flying on that. And they... Whatever they did to the thing they, like, strap you in and everything. And as it's moving, it feels like it's breathing underneath oh, you. Oh, that's cool. Which is pretty cool. And yeah. I'm like, wow, that sounds really interesting. Yeah. I wouldn't mind going to do that. Yeah. Other than that, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Great technical everything. Who cares about the story? I, yeah. I sure don't want to spend three hours watching nothing. I'm sure it's going to look pretty, but yeah. that's probably all it's going to be. Yeah, exactly. And and it's so funny because I also saw people like complaining on Twitter like, what are you talking about? Everybody loved that movie when it came out. It was like, no, no they, didn't. they didn't. They really didn't. They didn't. No. I, rem- I remember. Mm-hmm. They re- there were a lot of people that were like losing their mind. Like, I wish I lived on that planet. But again, it's just a visual thing. You yeah. didn't care about the movie. You just yeah liked the visuals, which fair enough. Good visuals. Yeah, exactly. Movie but that's about all it had going for it. And the trailer with nobody like talking and stuff. It reminded me of that mummy trailer that came oh my out gosh. Of Christmas when they where just, it wasn't done. Where they didn't put on. Ah! The sound effects. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I love that trailer so much. It's my favorite trailer. Oh my ever. gosh. And it's like two of the screens are like exactly the same. Yeah. And, oh yeah. my gosh. That's so funny. I completely forgot oh, about that. Oh man. Yeah, go find that one. It's Thank so you good. For reminding me because that's amazing. <laughs> also, I don't like Tom Cruise, so yeah. that made it even better. Which uh, we'll talk about him in Doctor Strange also. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, so we made it through the trailers. <laughs> now we're ready to start Marvel Mania. This episode's probably going to be very nerdy. Mm-hmm. Going to okay. have a lot of comic book talk probably, so just strap in. And it might be kind of long. Yeah. And it's going to have spoilers for everything because we do spoilers. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. We're spoiling everything up in here. So if you are not caught up on Moon Knight, mm-hmm. don't listen. Yep. Um, and if you haven't watched Doctor Strange and you don't want to be spoiled, then uh, don't listen. Yeah, we'll still be here. Go watch yeah. it and get back to us. Exactly. You can feel free to download it and then, you know, and, you know download it a couple times from different computers if you need to. <laughs> so listen to the first part at one computer, or another <laughs> one, download it there. <laughs> and then, you know, you know, you can download it and then you can, if you don't want to listen to it, that's all right. You yep. can get rid of it and then you can go watch the movie and then you can download it again. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Get a VPN, change your IP, <laughs> download it again. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be spoiling stuff. So if yeah. you haven't seen it and you don't want to be spoiled, just come back to us later. Yeah. And yeah. We're okay with that. Yeah, exactly. But we got to talk about it. It's burning us up. It's been killing me. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, the first thing we're trying to talk about we, is Moon Knight, yes. which we saw the day it came out oh, Wednesday. Yeah, because yeah, we didn't want anything so, spoiled for yeah. us. And I just wanted to see it. (laughs) Yeah, and I just really wanted to see the end of it because I just had to know what happened. Yeah. So, yeah. So, how does it go? All right. (laughs) This is hard to remember. Luckily, I have some notes. I'm very glad. So, it starts off, we're in the tomb, and Harrow and his goons are pulling Mark out of the water. Oh, yeah. He's been shot. He's dead. They take the statue because yeah. he's got this. He's still holding the statue of Amit. Mm-hmm. Still dead. So he takes it. He yeah. So puts I guess the scarab, he didn't give it to Layla. I'm I surprised. guess not. But. So he puts the scarab, I think, on his chest and yeah. is like, "Well, goodbye, Mark and Stephen and Don't whoever else anymore. is in there." Yeah. And then he's gone. They all leave, yep. and Layla's there with his dead body. She yeah. goes up to him and she kisses him on the forehead and mm-hmm. everything, and cries over him a little bit. She picks oh. up that scarab to him. Oh, also, I forgot to say before he before Harrow leaves, his axe does or his axe, his cane does some weird oh, thing yeah. where it turns into an axe. Yeah, on, axe one, on side, one side and, the... and then the crocodile head on the other. Right, it's a gator axe. Okay, gator axe. Croc axe. Croc axe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Axodile. Axodile. <laughs> Why do these sound like really bad Pokemon? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> These are trademark. We thought of these, Nintendo. Oh, 
oh goodness. So anyway, that turns into an axe and then he walks off. And yeah, she comes out. She takes the scarab, of course. And she's like, all right, I'm going to go kill Harrow. Yep. I'm going to follow this little guy, I'm which I thought she it. was going to track him, but I did apparently too. not. <laughs> well, apparently. Why, why'd you even pick why up did the you, scarab? Yeah, exactly. Why'd you even pick it up? Because we see her again very soon. Yep. Because they're, they're little envoy or whatever. Envoy? Envoy, convoy. Convoy is what I meant to say. <laughs> why was I envoy? I don't know. Their convoy is like going down the road and the Egyptian police stop them. Yeah. And so he's like, don't worry, I'll take care of this. <laughs> yeah. And he does his little staff thing and mm-hmm. just starts trying to, and just taking their souls. Just strips all the souls yep. of the bad people, I yep. guess. Yep, so the bad people, their souls. Or the unworthy, I don't go, know what they are. Yeah, go out, and they go into the duat, which mm-hmm. is what we saw in the episode before when Stephen and Mark were there going, oh, Look what's happening. It's mm-hmm. terrible. And, you know, Tarret was like, it's it's an evil. It's an yeah. evil thing that's happening. It's bringing too soon. So that's when, of course, they tell her, or they're like, we have to go back and we have to get in touch with Layla and tell her to release Kanchu. Right. Then we see that kind of happened. Yeah. Because <laughs> Layla is in there. the convoy. Yeah. She just put on a wrap on her head, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And she just decided <laughs> to right sneak in there. in there with them. Yeah. And as she's going up, because she's got a knife and she's going to go kill Harrow. Yeah. The dead bodies start, like, talking to her. Yeah. With the Tower Rat's voice. Right. And it's like, Layla, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't. Stop. Go, don't. You're going to get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Layla, stop. <laughs> <laughs> she's uh she tells her you know uh go find Konshu and release him mark is here with me mm-hmm. and she's like ah, fine <laughs> <laughs> and of course one of the guys that the souls are you know the souls are going out and everything and one of the guys is fine yeah and it, his soul does not leave him and then he's like this is the face of a good man yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whatever it's like okay whatever whatever i'm it <laughs> So, yeah, she's talking Tawaret, Tawaret, Tawaret. Mm-hmm. How do you say her name? Nova, anyway, no she's idea. talking through the dead people, tells her to get Khonshu. Yeah. Then they arrive, they, Harrow and all of his people arrive at the pyramid. Yeah. They go in. They open it up. And all of the other avatars are in there and they're like, what's going what? on? Someone's no. trying to free on oh, that. What? And I mean, I just, I just picture them all with surprised Pikachu yeah. faces because that's what it was. And it's yeah. like, why did no one tell us this was happening? Yeah. It's like, you so dumb. idiots. Honestly, I'm glad you all died. Yeah. <laughs> they were the worst gods in the world. Cause, so. cause yeah, they all get killed. So yeah. there you go. Fair they're enough. dead. Bye. <laughs> Don't miss you. <laughs> uh, but then um, we go back to Mark, who is in the field of reeds, and Towerette is talking to him, and she's like, it's so peaceful, you know, here, just live your, the rest of your afterlife in peace. Mm-hmm. And he's like, but what about Steven? Yeah. She's like, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah. And honestly, like, this is not meant as a slam against the Egyptian people and their beliefs and stuff, but isn't just a field of reeds kind of boring? <laughs> what would you do for eternity there? I mean, it's peaceful. That's great. Yeah. But... Seems like you'd get kind of bored after a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, you don't even uh, have any books or anything? Yeah. I mean, this isn't... Not my, not ideal. Not <laughs> ideal. I guess it's more ideal than turning into... Yeah, getting stuck in the sand. Sandstone. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And it's weird that there was, like, nobody else there. Yeah. Who's just, like, there all... I guess you get your own field of raids. I don't know, but... I don't know how it That works. seems kind of annoying, because it's like, okay, well, I can't see... I mean, maybe it's just, maybe he was at the entrance or something, and if he maybe. went further into the field, he would see people eating. Yeah. Because, I mean, didn't in Gladiator, when he died, he went to the field of reeds, and his family was there and stuff? Yeah, I think so. So I got to see them. I don't know. Maybe maybe Mark just really wanted just to be away from everybody. Just be peaceful. <laughs> He's like, you know what? I don't want anyone else around. Just <laughs> leave just, me alone. I've dealt with voices too much. <laughs> I don't want any voices. I just want some reeds, and I want to chill. Yeah, I don't know. But actually, he doesn't want some reeds and want to chill. He wants yeah. to go back for Steven. That's right. He loves him. Because he's like, I can't. I can't just leave him there. I can't. I cannot. <laughs> so he goes back, or he just basically turns around and starts running in it. 
turns yeah. from the field of reeds back into the duat where yeah. Stephen is. He goes up to him. He finds his little stone body. Yeah. His little, his little stone, stone body. body. And he gives him a nice little speech about yeah. how, you know, he's, Stephen is his real superpower. You're my real superpower. And, and, um. Hey, Krista. Uh-uh. You're my real Don't. superpower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're glowing. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so yeah, he puts the heart in his in Stephen's outstretched hand and puts his hand on top of it. And then he starts turning into stone too. Yeah. But then suddenly the gates, the gates begin to open. Mm-hmm. And... It's a bright light. There's a bright light and the heart glows. And then... Steven comes back, and I was like, oh, my gosh, are they going to just have Steven? Just have Steven. <laughs> Did he just so Mark. trade, like, a life for a life kind of thing? Yeah. But, no, Mark comes back, He's too. Back. And they're like, oh, my gosh. And Steven's like, you came back for me. And then yeah. they hug. Aww. And I was just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> they're the best. Oh, they're so cute. It goes back to uh, oh. Layla and everything. Layla has found the statue of Khonshu. Yeah. And breaks it. Yeah. Took, it seemed like it took a lot longer than it should have for her to break it. Because I'm like, just you stop looking at it. Just throw it down. <laughs> so breaks it. And she doesn't out. break all the other ones, which we were like, why doesn't she just unleash yeah, just, everybody? Exactly. Let's go. That's what I would have done. Let's have, have a big like, gun fight here. I'd be like, you know what? This one, <laughs> don't know who you are. Just throw it down. Although I'm sure she knows who they are. Yeah. But it's like, hmm, whoever you are, yeah. you're you're out. Come on. Let's, let's go. <laughs> So Kanshu comes out and he's like, I need you to be my avatar. And she's yeah. like, oh, no. Yeah. Like, I'm not she's doing not, that. I'm not going to do it. Sorry. No, no, sir. You'll be fine. So he's like, oh, fine. <laughs> I'll just fight her myself. Yeah. Because, of course, they've opened up. They've broken Amit's thing. And she's mm-hmm. come out, too. Yeah. And she's, she's like this big crocodile she's lady. There. Yep. And even he, I was surprised that Harrow, right? Mm-hmm. He's, he, he. He really believed in what he's saying because he's like, my, my I know my scales are messed up, man. Yeah, if you need to get rid of me, that I understand. Yeah, all for you, baby. <laughs> yeah, because as soon as she comes out, she's like, "Who released me?" And he's like, "It was I, tis I." <laughs> or whatever. And she's like, "Your scales are unbalanced." And he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> Well, I was hoping I'd make up for it, but I get it. I get it. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Go ahead and kill me. It's get fine. You, get you a good avatar. He's like, I, I get it. I yeah. understand. And she's like, the last time I had a, an avatar with the balanced scales, I was imprisoned. Yeah. <laughs> so who needs that? Yeah. So she's like, you can still be my avatar. You're That's cool right. with me. Yeah. And then, of course, Khonshu shows up and he starts fighting with her. Mm-hmm. They have a little fight scene. And then I guess... The other gods realize, uh, I guess they decide, you know what? Maybe Mark should be able to go back. I, I guess that's what happens. For what? Go back into his body. Oh, I I guess. I, I guess he went back when he went to those doors. Maybe Osiris. Because didn't, Cause I think didn't she find Rett Osiris says, like down on the ground? He was dying. And he's like, yeah, we messed up, bro. Should have seen that coming. Yeah, I think so. So maybe, maybe he's opened the doors for him. Yeah. So they were able to get there. But then that sand was coming. Yeah. And then Tara Rett's there and she's like, yeah, she comes on the boat and she's like, hey. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Stephen's like, hippo, (laughs) which was really cute. And then. That was great. And then they are back in their body. You know, Mark wakes up and Conchu's like, Mark. Mark." (laughs) He's like, he's back. Hey. (laughs) Hey, there you are. Buddy. And so, since he's back in his body, now he can get the powers back because Khonshu's out and he's mm-hmm. out. They're good to go. Yeah. And so, those bullets fall out. Yeah. And that suit comes he's on. all healed up. And I was there like, that's the biggest CGI <laughs> suit I've ever seen. And I don't yep. think I really like that. <laughs> yeah. This looks kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. And I, I've seen people, like, reacting to it. And they're like, whoa, this is so cool. And I'm like, is it, though? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, not not a big fan of that part. It just looked too CGI to me. But yeah, the rest of the time that he's wearing the suit, I'm like, yeah, that suit's awesome. It was just yeah. that one scene that just kind of like. Mm. Yeah, the transition is, is usually mm. not great. Yeah. Once he's like probably in a more practical suit, it works a little better. Yeah. So anyway, he's he's out. He comes out of the tomb. 
Khonshu's there. He starts talking. He's like, hey, glad to have you back or whatever. And then Steven's there and he's like, so. let's work out a little <laughs> deal here because yeah. now you have both of us. Let's talk terms. He's like, yeah, he's like, we're kind of a package deal. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yay, Steven. <laughs> so when we're done, we're done. And we're done. You're like, you let's let go. us go. And we're he's out. like, fine, let's just get rid of Amit. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, they're kind of far away. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, they're in Cairo and we're here. <laughs> and he's like, I'm the god of the moon. <laughs> yeah, I got this. What? I'm the god of the travelers of the night or whatever. And it's like, <laughs> you're moon night, you idiot. And just fly there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so he turns, uh, Stephen's like, Mark, I think you got this. <laughs> yep. And then Mark turns into moon night or he turns, you know, he goes back yeah. to himself and moon knight outfit flies up into the crescent moon cape. crescent cape and i was just and like you ah! love it you love that crescent cape i love it so much it's your favorite part of the show it is my favorite part that i'm like i love that moon cape it's so good yeah it's so cool looking it is cool because it, was a it good just effect. like right in the moon it means oh God, i just can't even i can't even can't even tell you how much i like it yeah so anyway, back <laughs> and then of course while we're waiting for uh, for Mark Stephen whatever yeah. to get there, Layla decides that I tells Towerette that she will be her temporary avatar. Yeah, they had a little talk. They have a little. She's talk. She's like, oh, thank goodness, I have such a cool costume. Yeah. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. And also, <laughs> she says something about oh, something about her dad and that she saw. She's talked to her dad in the field of reeds. Oh, so. yeah. He's going to be so proud of He's you. He's going to be so proud of you. And she's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'd be tall as Avatar. She's so cool. <laughs> she's so cool. I love her. She's great. But yeah, she's like, I've got a, I've got a great costume for you. Mm-hmm. And then it goes to Harrow. He's on top of the pyramid. Yeah. And, and this is where we kind of got lied to because in the trailer... They showed like the classic Marvel beam of light coming down onto the pyramid mm-hmm. that was all purple and stuff. But this we didn't get a beam of light. We it did get we him. did get a beam of light later. Did we? Kind of. I don't know if it's. Sh- it sh- He's we'll holding up his little cane that was purple. Yeah. And then little 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 purple's souls were going. Yeah, because he tells every he tells all his followers he's like. Collect the souls. Yeah. And, and so he, he like they, turns. Do your judgment. Judge. He, start judging people. Yeah. Because he like turns everybody in Cairo. He pretty much judges everyone in Cairo. Yeah. So, so it's like people just turning on each other in Cairo. So everybody's out there being judged. Souls are coming in and uh-huh. they're going straight to. She's eating it. Um, and she's just eating them up and she's she getting bigger it. and bigger. Yep. And it's like, <laughs> okay, so that's. That's a big crocodile. That's a big crocodile. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. So then, of course, Khonshu shows up too. And he's mm-hmm. big. And so it's like Kaiju Khonshu. Yeah, well, yeah, it was <laughs> what I like to call it. Big Kaiju co- fight. <laughs> and so, yeah, there's Kaiju Amit and Khonshu, and they're just going at it. They're just yeah. fighting all over the place. He's like, I'm not going to let you do this. And she's like, I don't know do why <laughs> you think you're going to stop me. Yeah. Um, yeah. So then it shows Layla. Of course, in her new costume. And it's like, oh, wow, that looks pretty cool. It's mm-hmm. like all nice. It's got some gold kind of stuff she's going got some on. some wings. And yeah, she spreads her arms mm-hmm. out or she puts her arms behind her back and she spreads them out and yeah. they're wings. And with swords. Mm-hmm. Apparently, she's the Scarlet Scarab. Yes. Which, okay. <laughs> as, as apparently is the guy in the comics, but. Yes. I don't know much about him. In the comics, was it not the guy whose name is the last same last name as her? I feel Maybe like, I feel like that's what it is. Maybe, but it's I, I, I think it's a I've read it. But I think that person is maybe the avatar. Are they an avatar? I don't. I don't know. Anything maybe about of a, Scott's game. okay. I, th- I feel I've like I heard that they're an avatar, but it's of a different god okay. or goddess or whatever. But anyway, it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Plus, her dad used to call her his little, little scarab, scarab. Yeah. so it works out really well. And when they were in the psych ward, she had the band-aid with the scarab on it. She did. And also, because people were like, but it's Towerette. She's a hippo. Why mm-hmm. would it be a scarab? I thought she was going to be a hippo costume. <laughs> that would have been awesome. <laughs> it would have been great. But if you look at Towerette... She's got a big scarab yeah, right there on does. her on yeah. her outfit, so yeah. it still goes with her. But man, it would have been great. It would have been <laughs> amazing to see a hippo costume. Because whenever she was like entering in, that we couldn't see her coming, you know, mm-hmm. and it was like real thunderous footsteps. I was like, oh my god, she's a hippo. <laughs> this is great. 
What would have been great is if she had come out in a hippo costume and she's like, I don't think this is going to work for me. (laughs) Fine. Here you go. (laughs) Oh, man. So, yeah, she's she's got her nice little fancy suit and her wings. Mm -hmm. And then um, Moon Knight shows up and he they have this weird run thing on the pyramid, which I did not like. Yeah, it was it was it was very CGI. And like, if you think about it. Is Harrow, Harrow running down the pyramid yeah, like that? Yeah, and he has glass in his shoes. Let's not forget that. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the glass. <laughs> and but, he's like flipping around. Like, dude is not that agile. Well, I'm pretty sure that is physically impossible. He yeah. is He is an avatar, so I yeah, get it. Yeah, maybe he, he got all powered up, I that's guess. That's the only thing I, that's the only reason I can, you know. Yeah, it's the only part I can my disbelief or whatever, because... You know, he's that he's an avatar. He can do weird things. Sure. No human could dr- <laughs> run down at that angle. Yeah. They would just fall flat, yeah. flat on their faces. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, they start fighting and then... I like that they're fighting in the foreground and then the kaiju, kaiju is gods are in back the, there in the fighting. background fighting yes. too. Yeah, real, that was pretty real cool. Real cool effect. I liked that. It's not just Mark that's fighting though. Yeah. Because Steven also fights. Yeah. They like transition they're like mm-hmm. they become one they're more coordinated yes they'll switch in and out because he doesn't start off fighting like it's first it's mark fighting and mm-hmm. they're fighting they're in the streets and something happens he and layla comes in because he's harrow has the upper hand or whatever yeah and layla comes in and like kicks him out of the way or whatever yeah and they're like mark's like wow layla oh yeah. my gosh and he like runs to her and hugs her and everything and then he turns into steven and steven's like you look amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that suit? Yeah. It's so great. <laughs> it's really cute. Yeah. And then, of course, since he's Steven and he, they're about to be attacked, he just pulls out his little... Yeah. Whatever they are. His little... I already forgot what they are. I can't remember what they're called, but they're those like these little sticks, sticks. Yeah. And he just starts going at it. He's just beating everybody. Mm-hmm. How did Steven not- suddenly become a great fighter? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the suit, baby. But yeah, it, so. it was a nice, like, he's... It was a continuous shot of just him running through. I loved that. Hitting everybody. It was such a good so shot. So much. When yeah. he, like, jumps up and does the... Yeah. Oh, that's That was really uh, cool. So good. So good. Looked great. Yeah. Um, so they're fighting together. And then, of course, if, you know, occasionally Steven will turn back into Mark and Mark takes over. Mm-hmm. And it's just really... It was a really good fight. Yeah. But then... Conchu starts losing. Conchu starts losing. Yeah. Ahmet somehow gets his little crescent moon staff yeah. and is about Just to like, is stabs stab him. him with it, basically. Yeah. And, of course, Harrow is also getting the upper hand. Mm-hmm. He does, throws something at Layla and, like... I think it threw one of Moon Knight's things Maybe. Yeah. And gets... She's, like, stuck to a bus or something. Yeah. Also, there was the part where the bus... It's like, people get on the bus and he shoots it with some kind of purple light right. and it flips over and it almost hits a kid but Layla saves her yeah. and she's like she's like are you are the you first an, are you an Egypt <laughs> are you an Egyptian superhero and she's yeah. like yes yes I am. <laughs> yeah that was good so yeah that was pretty neat lots of people of course online going it's a girl oh, another god. girl superhero oh my gosh the M she you I hate it and I'm why? like why are these people so stupid why do you people exist yes. <laughs> Uh, I'm so like, dumb. come on! It's like it's it, so stupid. It's so annoying too because they're like, of course they have a, a TV show and it's not even about Moon Knight. It's called Moon Knight and it's all about Layla. I'm like, did you? Are even you kidding? Watch <laughs> she was show? in like three episodes. It's like she was in three episodes. Yeah. And she fought for like five minutes. Yeah, chill. Really, <laughs> Daddy, yeah. chill. Yeah, your life um, is stupid. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> it's so <laughs> annoying. But uh, yeah. Harrow, she's out of the way, and he's he looks like he's about to do something bad. And he, this is where I think there was a beam of light because he puts his he has his axe and he just kind of like pushes it down on Mark's chest. And I think a beam of light comes out then. Did it? Maybe I think so, but I don't know if it showed it. I don't know if it showed it. Like I think I don't know if it was the same like angle that you're talking about but anyway, well, that definitely I think wasn't was... like over the pyramid no like what was in the trailer no but then blackout blackout <laughs> mark blacks out he comes to 
He yeah. has the axe. Mm-hmm. It's like, I thought it was embedded. I literally thought it was embedded in his head at I first. So I was like, yeah. oh my gosh. Like, he just murdered him. All right. But and no. He but no, he's fine. He's just kind of unconscious. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> around Layla is beaten up because mm-hmm. they were all kind of getting at her. Yeah. So. And um, they take Harrow back to. He was like, Stephen? Oh, yeah. He's did like, you do that? <laughs> and he's like, no. I thought it was. He's like, no, it wasn't me. So it wasn't either of them. Yep. Who could it be? Who could it be? So yeah, they take him to, um, they take him inside the pyramid into the chamber there, and uh, Layla and Mark do the ritual, and it mm-hmm. goes through all of the other Stupid statues gods. that are there. Yeah. So all the other gods have joined in, and they are basically trapping Amit inside of Harrow. Right. Which why didn't they just put it? Inside of another statue. I don't know. Yeah. They put it inside of Hero and Kanchu's like, kill him. And yeah. so Mark's about to do it. And Layla's like, don't. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. And he's like, yeah, I don't have to do this, do I? Yeah. He's like, you can do it yourself. I'm done. Yeah. And so he's like. It's weird, though, because he just killed a lot of people <laughs> on the street. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't Mark who did it. It was Stephen. <laughs> well, okay. I forgot. I was ta- I was talking about the, the third when. Oh, no, not that one. Because, like, yeah, ju- but just during their fight with the guys, he was, like, throwing stuff right into their chest. To true, throw true. So, they're so, probably I mean, dead. Oh. Um, but anyway, he's like, I'm not going to do it, and I'm done. Yeah. Th- that was our deal. Mm-hmm. You got to release me. So, he's yeah. like, okay, fine. Yeah. I'll release you. Yeah. So, he takes the, the, the suit away and everything. And they're like, all right, nice. Cool. We're done. And then I guess he just wakes up. In his apartment at that point? He wakes up, actually. Wakes um, up in the morning. morning feeling like P. Diddy. Uh-huh. Uh, no, he it shows him he's back in the asylum. Who is? Mark. Oh, yeah, he there, is. He's talking That's to right. the doctor, yeah. to Dr. Harrow. Yeah. And he's switching back and forth between Mark and Stephen like, uh-huh. effortlessly, basically. Yeah. And... Harrow starts walking away and mm-hmm. he's there he's leaving a trail of blood. Like, Why am I pleading? <laughs> and he's like Stephen's like, "Do you see what I see?" And Mark's mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, I do." <laughs> and so he you know, he knows he's not this isn't actually reality. Yep. And so then he's like, "I'm going to go going to go, bro. Do live my life yep. or whatever." And so he falls backwards. Mm-hmm. And then he wakes up in yeah. bed and he there he's in Stephen's apartment. It's yep. like, "Is this Mark or is it Stephen?" Right. Not sure. Technically, it's both of them. Yeah. Um, and he's talking to himself, so you know, because it's like, is this just the beginning of the first episode? Because it's exactly <laughs> yeah. how the first episode started. I wonder. It's got the same music and everything playing. Yeah. And you're like, oh my gosh, did we just like start the whole thing over? Yeah. But no, because he's talking to himself. He's like, you know, Stephen and Mark are talking to each right. other. It's like, okay, we're we're somewhere in the future a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Then we see the two fish are in there. The two, two fish. fish right yep, on. he's got two fish. Yeah. And um, he's still chained to his bed. Yeah, which he, they find out. Because <laughs> he falls to the floor. Yep. Uh, my question is, did he and Layla get divorced? Yeah, who knows? Don't know. Don't know. Unanswered question. I would say probably not, if I had to guess. I would say maybe they're just like separated. Yeah, Because it didn't look like she was living there or anything. He, oh, yeah. But... I mean, come on. <laughs> they had some moments together that they did. he he learned a lot about himself. He did, and so maybe so maybe they can reconcile. maybe they can make it work. Yeah, but um, we'll see. Yeah, and then that was that was it. That's that was how it, it ends. It ends. He falls on his face, and he's like, Ugh. and that's yeah. it. that's it. And I was like, in the moon night. What <laughs> we did? They better. I, they better have an after credit. They better show me Jake. I'm so mad. I'm, I'm, I'm so mad. So, <laughs> Show me Jake. After the credits. Yep. It's in another asylum. Yep. And there's like a cup that has sand in it, but somebody mm-hmm. knocks it over and it's coffee. Yeah. Which was weird. That is there weird. There was like a little rubber ducky, I think, at one point. Yeah. I feel I like that so. was a rubber ducky. Can't remember why. And then there's Harrow. He's there he is. sitting there in a wheelchair. Yep. Seems and pretty happy and drugged up. Yeah, and somebody comes up to him, and then someone else is like, no, I got this. Mm-hmm. Starts wheeling him out. Yep. They're going through through the hallways. Mm-hmm. There are some dead bodies. It's yep. Like, uh-oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> wheels him out to this car. This big, like, big limo. white limo. Yep. Puts him in. Starts, well, the person gets into the driver's seat. Yeah. 
And Conchu. Conchu's in the back. Yeah. What's Conchu doing? What's doing, Conchu? So he's like, (laughs) Mark thought that I was trying to get Layla as my new avatar. Yeah. But that wasn't the case. Yeah. I fooled him the whole he's time. He's not even my favorite part of him. Exactly. He's more messed up than he thinks he is. He's like, yeah, so he's like, there are things that he just doesn't know about yeah. himself. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Harold's is like, eh, whatever. Yeah, he's like, I don't know <laughs> I don't what I'm doing what here. Okay. You. you can't kill me. Whatever. So, exactly. So he's like, meet my little friend. <laughs> and of course, the... Rolls down the, the partition. Window, yeah, the window rolls down. He's yep. like Jake Lockley. Yeah. He turns around. He's got his little cabbie hat on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And of course. Wearing all black. Yeah. Of course. It's, you know, it's Mark, but yep. it's not Mark. It's, it's not. Jake. It's Jake. The third personality comes through. Yep. And he's speaking Spanish. Yeah. That was interesting. And then, pulls out a gun and just shoots Harrow. <laughs> yep. Very silenced gun there. And then drives off. With no recoil on the oh, yeah. gun. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah, he does. He drives off, and the license plate says Specter on it, which mm-hmm. you know he does have that limo that is in the comics because yeah, Mark Specter's real rich, so he's got a limo. He drives around him, but yeah, that was it. So we got to see Jack. I, I was kind of still disappointed they didn't like can maybe like flashback to the scene where he just like went crazy because it just like thank you took it just like. Okay, never mind. The climax is done. I was, <laughs> I was like, I'm, I, I want to see you. I'm so glad that you said that because that is, I, I, I like this episode. Yeah. I liked the show in general, you know, the whole mm-hmm. thing. That is probably my one thing, my one nitpick about it is that in the middle of the fight, when, you know, the hero is about to be beaten down and then suddenly nothing. Yeah. And then he's on top again yeah. and you don't know what happened right and i know i get that they're trying to not show jake yeah but they didn't have to have him saying anything no. they could have had him and had a different moon knight outfit so yeah layla's like oh, what is this that's not mark or steven yeah i think they should have like gone like meet jake lockley what's his name <laughs> jake lockley it is jake lockley yeah. it sounds weird to me for some reason <laughs> Um, and then say that, show him, and then, like, flashback. Here's him doing all this stuff, cutting down hey, Haro or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, or you see it in Haro's eyes or mm-hmm. something. He remembers this guy. Yeah. And, and, and I wish they had shown something. Something like that, yeah. Because uh, that was, we got nothing. It was very annoying. Yeah. And the thing is, if we go back if we go back and watch, like, the, the very first episode. Mm-hmm. Was it Jake who was doing all the stuff and not Mark? Could was Stephen turning into Jake? It's very possible. Because there were a lot of dead bodies on the ground. Yeah. And all the stuff with like shooting the people in the cupcake van. Yeah. It yeah. Was very, very violent. Been, it was very, very violent. So was that Jake instead <laughs> it of Mark? It might have been, yeah. And also, there are people have been speculating that you know in the very first episode of course also um there's he's supposed to be going on that date with the girl the yeah. steak dinner yeah and he doesn't know anything about it right and why would mark yeah in, that seems more of a jake why thing. would mark ask someone out yeah. he's married yeah so he's been there a whole time doing yeah. stuff he's just been probably yeah and my uh, this I don't remember why this didn't line up because I realized it like after I wrote this down. Oh, like this doesn't work. Okay. But I was like, were the hearts unbalanced? Because you had Stephen and Mark's hearts, mm-hmm. and they're both good. But then once Stephen's gone, then you just have Mark and Jake, the good and the bad. So it's balanced. And then now he's able, he's balanced now. But I, I realized that's not really how it works. So that's probably not what it is. But I was like. Ah. <laughs> well, it could be that they weren't balanced because there were only the two hearts there and there right. were three people yeah. still in waiting to go on the ship. Right. Because we know he was on the ship because we saw the the sarcophagus. Yeah. So maybe since they didn't have Jake's heart, they only had Stephen and Mark's, that's two hearts. Mm-hmm. But there were still the three people. And when yeah. Stephen fell off, then it was matched with two bodies and two hearts yeah 
being weighed and that's because that's when it because once he falls off that's when it balances right yeah but i don't know i don't know i I did really like it i really i think there should be another season i do too i i don't know if there will be but i feel like they need to do something with him i feel like they would have brought him in earlier if they weren't gonna do another one i just I have a hard time believing they're not going to do another one. Well, see, a lot of people say that they that they did it as just a one series kind of thing so yeah. that they can get different awards for it. Cause, yeah. Because there's like one specific award, like one specific Emmy award that Best is just for- series or something. Yeah, that is yeah. just for a one season kind of thing. And and then they'll be like, oh, well, actually, we're going to go ahead and do another Yeah. <laughs> oh, they loved it so much. Let's I mean, do it again. that would be great. Because they could do, they could- have Bushman come in and he could deal with all that. Mm-hmm. Him and Layla, since they both have history with him, and deal with Jake because Conchu's still controlling him. Exactly. They could figure that out and be like, I keep blacking out. What's what's going on, Stephen? Like, I'm not doing I'm it. I'm not doing Who's it. I'm doing it. Conchu's yeah. back. All that stuff. So. And I mean, Layla saw all of that happen. Right. So surely they can talk to her about yeah. it and be like, so what did happen while. Right. So there's a lot <laughs> to know. resolve. They definitely could do another season. Yeah. I don't think they need to do more than two, but yeah. I don't know. I think I think it'd be good. But I think overall, it was a good series. Mm-hmm. It's it's up there with my favorite ones. Oh, yeah. I yeah. enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. Which, I mean, I loved Loki. Mm-hmm. And I really liked WandaVision. Yeah. And then this. Yeah. And Oscar Isaac was so good. I. And you said he deserves... An Emmy? Or, yeah. Yeah. And he does. He yeah. deserves an award. For sure. That dude was acting I, it up. Yeah. And I mean, I had a crush on Oscar Isaac before this, but <laughs> this has just cemented it. it. No. Because, <laughs> no, I don't care about him in the, as Apocalypse. No, it was more because I liked Poe. I liked yeah. Poe Dameron. Yeah. But, oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm just like. He was great. He is amazing. <laughs> I want to be his best friend. Yeah. Can I be his best friend? Probably. Can he take me to Disney World? I think so. I'll I go with his kids. I think he's. I don't. I don't mind. I think he's looking for friends. I mean, I'll go. Like, he can bring his wife and kids, <laughs> and then bring the two of us with him, and yeah. then we can just like we'll just pal around, arm in arm, just yeah. skip down the streets <laughs> and just skip down Main Street, USA. That's right. I would be totally okay with that. Yeah. Can, he can that happen? Me, he could let me wear the Moon Knight costume. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh he's so good <laughs> he is oh man so oh, here's man. hoping we get yeah. season two yeah that'd be great but yeah like i said i was that was really the only disappointing moment was yeah. it was the climax of mm-hmm. the thing and then you don't even see it and you just skip over it yeah yeah it was yeah kind of Felt frustrating a little robbed, yeah yeah but it is what it is yeah it i was still enjoyed choice. it yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Marvel Mania continues with Doctor Strange, the Multiverse of Madness. And I I keep wanting to call it Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, but it's in In the Multiverse multiverse of Madness. madness. So I see straight up in there. I kind of wish they would just call it the Multiverse, 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 Multiverse. Yeah. 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 (laughs) The Multi Madness. Yeah. Because that's a that's a long title. It is. I mean, it's not as long as Shang Chi and the. Legend of the, the Ten, Ten Rings, Rings or yeah. whatever it was called. Yeah. Which I just still just call Shang-Chi because yeah. I'm like, that's too much to remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. And Shang-Chi's the main character, so that's all we that's need all to know. That's all I need to know. <laughs> I didn't want those Ten Rings anyway. <laughs> exactly. All right. All right. So we got introduced to several new characters in this one. Definitely. Yep. Several old characters. Mm-hmm. And some were brought back. Yep. Some were brought forward. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't sure. Know. <laughs> uh, anyway, I guess we should start from the beginning. It's a very good place to start. So we have our first new character. Mm-hmm. America Chavez. America Chavez. Miss America herself. Does she have like a superhero name or is she just always... Oh, she's Miss America? Mm-hmm. I don't but, like that. <laughs> That's just eh, weird. It works. I mean, they call her... They, they mainly call her America Chavez. Okay. Because I'm like... I, li- I just like America Chavez better, <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah. So she's somewhere. It's she's some running. weird yeah. place. She's running. There are like... Her and Doctor Strange. Columns flying, floating through the air. Yep. And yes, Doctor Strange is there, but it's 
a weird. It's a very strange Doctor Strange. Strange, strange. Because he's got a ponytail. And he speaks Spanish. <laughs> oh yeah, he does speak yes, Spanish. Yes, he does. So yeah. Yep. Ponytail Spanish. Mm-hmm. Strange. And they're being chased by some kind of monster, some yeah. kind of demon thing. Yeah. Don't remember what it looked like really, except it had some. It looked like, it had like a big mouth that kind of it looked like it sucked stuff in. But yeah, it, was kind of like it looked. It just kind of looked like a cloud monster kind of deal yeah, with I a lot of so. tentacles and stuff. And they're parkouring around this mm-hmm. place that they're at. <laughs> Parkour. Parkour. <laughs> trying to get to this one spot, and yes. there's a book there, and yeah. it's the book of. Vishanti, yeah. Which every time they said the book of Vishanti, I went the book of Vishanti, like the singer. <laughs> Ashanti. <laughs> no, because I put it in the, my notes. I was like Ashanti. <laughs> no, it's the book of Vishanti. That window on the sanctum, sanct- sanctorum, sanctorum. Mm-hmm. That you know that has that symbol. Mm-hmm. That's the symbol of Vishanti. Vishanti. It's okay. like the seal of Vishanti. So okay, cool. It's to protect that, so. Yeah, this is this is their book. Okay, it's supposed so. to give you whatever you need to defeat whatever whatever you're evils facing. Are yeah. There. Okay, so they <laughs> uh, they almost make it to it. They're like right there at it. They get caught, mm-hmm. and she is like being held by this monster. And he's yeah. like, the only way to stop this is for me to take your powers. Yeah, she's like, you'll so. kill me. He's like. Sacrifices, Sorry. bro. <laughs> you know, so it is. she's like, I trusted you. And he's like, maybe you shouldn't have done that. Yeah. So he starts trying to take her powers. She starts freaking out about yeah. it. Yeah. And he um, just gets straight up stabbed to the chest. Yeah. He gets, <laughs> yeah, fatally injured. Yeah. Um, her powers like explode. Yeah. And it creates this star shaped portal. Mm hmm. And then Doctor Strange, before he dies, he does something, he creates something and like throws it and chops. Yeah, because the tentacles are, like, holding yeah. her arms and yeah. legs, so he chops, chops all those, those off, off. So she can fall back into the portal. Yeah. And he somehow gets taken with her. Yeah. Not really I don't know how. sure how, but um, he dies, and yep. they go through the portal together. Mm-hmm. And then Doctor Strange wakes up, and he's like, oh, it was all a dream. It was a crazy dream. It was and a They really did weird. a cool little effect where it, like, went inverted, kind of just, like, rotated to him waking up. Mm-hmm. It was pretty cool. A lot, of, a lot of interesting camera work in this. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So he gets out of bed. He starts getting dressed. He doesn't want to tie his tie with his hands, so he just does or magic to do it. Maybe, because oh, his hands true, are so messed his up. His hands are messed up. Yeah. He's like, whatever. Magic it. <laughs> magic, baby. I mean, honestly. Why would you not? Why would you not? Exactly. <laughs> Ties are hard to tie. That's, I mean, come on. That's true. I have to do it two or three times. So he's dressed up. He's ready to go. Mm-hmm. And where's he going? Going to a wedding. He's going to a wedding. Going to the chapel. And he's going to watch his ex-girlfriend get married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because it's Christine's wedding. Yes, it is. And um, Dr. West is there. Was the guy from the first movie. Apparently in the first movie. He's like rival doctor or whatever, yeah. which I didn't remember him. But anyway, he's talking to him and he's like, so, uh, yeah, I was uh, blipped for five years and I came yeah. back to two dead cats and a dead brother. <laughs> yeah, he really emphasized those he's cats. really sad about like, the cats. My two dead, dead cats. cats. And a brother. And a brother. Yeah, he was dead too, but yeah. whatever. But, you know, we don't care about him. <laughs> He's like, um, yeah, what? He's like, yeah, we all had it hard, you know? <laughs> he's like accosting him about, did you really make the right choice? Yeah, he's like, was sure? that the only way yeah. that you could save everyone? He's like, yeah. Hope you're, I hope you're happy with that. He's like... I lost cats. <laughs> he's like, you know what? I am, and the fact yeah. that you lost cats makes me even happier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't yeah. say that. But, but that's a, it's yeah. a common thing through this movie of like, yeah. did he do the right thing or all that yeah. stuff. Sacrifices have to be made sometimes, mm-hmm. and is it worth it? Yep. Let me work it. <laughs> okay. <That's>... Okay. <laughs> so, wedding goes off without a hitch. Everything's or good. Or with a hitch. Or with a hitch. She got hitched. Like, she got hitched. <laughs> exactly. He's at the bar. He's drinking. She walks up. And she's like, I'd like a red wine. And he just turns her drink into <laughs> red wine. Water into wine. Like, okay. <laughs> also, why are you drinking red wine in your white wedding dress, girl? Well, that's, I mean, it's fine now. Wedding's done. <laughs> that's a recipe. Let's get messy, disaster. baby. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> At least change into something that's not going to stain completely. Yeah, that's if true. you drop it. Because this is, this is the middle of the MCU. Yeah. 
Anything can Stuff happen. gets vibrated all the time. Nothing happens with that, though. <laughs> yeah. Seemingly fine. Also, I was... <laughs> I had to look this up because I was like, has has Rachel McAdams always had that huge right? mole on the side of her it, face? Because it was so prominent. It bugged me, too. Because <laughs> I was just sitting there. I did not hear a single thing they said because I was just staring at her mole. <laughs> I know that's terrible. It's a terrible thing. To I, I felt bad as well, but because I was like, I, was like, I can't what concentrate. What is this? Yeah, because like, I'm like, is I even feel like I've never seen this before. She has. She's had that. For, she's had it forever. Because I yeah. looked, and people are and people are like on message boards going, I couldn't concentrate because that mole. <laughs> and other people are like, she's she's surely got enough money to get that thing taken off. <laughs> And I'm just sitting there going, I'm just sitting there going, I don't remember seeing a mole that big. Should she get that checked out? Because it does not look good. But anyway. Maybe she, you know, she's got that confidence in herself. Maybe she's, she's I mean, hey. I don't care if y'all see my mole. If she has gone to a dermatologist and they've said there's nothing wrong with this. I'm sure they've looked at it. And she's like, all right, I'm keeping it because that's just, that's my face. Yeah. Then good for her. Good for her. I got moles too. I do too. Good to have a mole sister, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um. But she was just trying to find out if he's happy, you know. Yeah. And he's, he's like, oh yeah, yeah. Super happy. Yeah. Real happy just watching you. Sorry about all that. Sorry I sucked, but you know, I'm yeah. real happy. Real happy just watching you get married to somebody else. Yeah. And I love that she's like, you need to meet Charlie because yeah. he's like a really big fan of yours. Yeah, this is embarrassing, but could you get a picture with him? He's real big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he never did, he never did meet him. No, because I was like, stuff, oh no. Some screaming started happening outside. Yeah, because there's like some kind of Someone's crash outside down. or something. Yeah. So he runs out to the balcony with a bunch of other people mm-hmm. and they see that there are like these crash vehicles. There are people running. So it's like oh no they must be running from something yeah so he jumps off the balcony he swings his cape on he changes yeah. into his little it was outfit like it, mid-flight. was it his like little pocket square was his cape i think so so yeah it, yeah it catches him so he's able to fly away mm-hmm. kind of like an iron man kind of deal yeah so he flies off uh toward whatever's happening mm-hmm. and he sees like these vehicles are being destroyed basically mm-hmm. crushed and everything but there's nothing there yeah. so he does some kind of spell to take the invisibility off of it and it's this big weird tentacle octopus yeah. monster thing with one eye yeah which it- looked a lot like shumagorath but it's not because i don't have the rights to shumagorath so it's another underwater ve- monster that nobody cares about <laughs> yeah i can't remember what it's like gargantuan or yeah, something like that yeah that sounds right but they never even say what the name of it is, no. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Anyway, so it's it, probably like, better it wasn't Shimagura. Yeah, so it's trying to like tear this bus apart and everything. Mm-hmm. And who's in the bus? It's America. It's America. Yeah. So uh, he saves her, and yeah. there's like this big thing. Him with, and like, Wong both say it. Yeah, Wong, Wong shows, up, shows up. They're all uh, they're all fighting together because she's mm-hmm. she's not really able to do anything, but. He like puts the cape. He throws the cape to her, and it flies her off somewhere to try to get to safety and everything. Mm-hmm. It gets hit with a motorcycle though, and drops her on a building. It yes, it does, and it's very convenient. It's very <laughs> very convenient. They do. Oh, it's she's like stuck on a balcony or whatever. Mm-hmm. The monster is like climbing up, yeah. and then you see like Christine comes out from her wedding and is like look on the, <laughs> on the balcony, and she's just like, of course, yeah. But her husband's like, oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Her husband's like, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it was really Best cute. wedding ever. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. <laughs> Oh, man. So uh, <laughs> they do eventually stop the thing because yeah. they throw, like, he grabs, Wong. He, he, uh, was it Wong that does it? No, he, oh, okay. he does a spell where his hands like get big oh, and it. go away that's from his it. body Real grab weird. a lamp post and it, just, it uses it like as a javelin yeah shoves it right into that big old eye <laughs> that is exactly <laughs> what was, i did because it pulled it out right it after it pulls that it was eyeball straight out real the gross <laughs> and i was like I, there is nothing i hate more than something being poked into an eye yeah that's terrifying so, yeah yeah <sighs> Yeah. So, um, yeah, not a big fan of that. Yeah. Yeah, that eyeball, uh, that eyeball just pops right out. It does. It looks like, it looks like an olive on a swizzle stick that <laughs> has been put into a martini, but there's no martini. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's not an olive. It's not. So they've saved her. Yep. Because it's, it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> 
that kills it. Yeah. They start talking to America and they're like, okay, we've got to take you to safety or whatever. Yeah, and she just like, like runs nah, off. I'm good. <laughs> she runs off and he's like, oh, well, let me just go after. Her. Oh, she took my sling ring. Yep. <laughs> But Wong has his. Yeah, so Wong has his. Yeah, he's he's like, okay, there are two of us. Yeah. So yeah, they they catch her, mm-hmm. and she tells her story. Basically, she has. Yeah, the they end- go to like a cafe. Yeah. What happens in the cafe? Well, they just talk. Uh, he tells. She tells them her story. They talk about their world. How they have okay. Spider Man and superheroes oh and yeah those, she's like yeah does what are the powers of the spider he's like yeah he shoots webs and she's like, she's like out of his butt <laughs> yeah, like a spider yeah like he's no like, i don't think I don't, so but but we possibly? Don't, i don't know because they don't know who spider-man is oh yeah anymore they just know because they never call him peter or anything it's just that's Spider-Man. right he's just yeah. spider-man so mm, i didn't yeah. even catch that good catch yeah nice job. uh so she tells them that she has the ability to create portals in the multiverse yep. mm-hmm. but she can't control it it only happens when she's scared mm-hmm. and also she's the only america chavez in the whole multiverse right. as far she's as she can tell around. she's yeah. looked around at like 60 something different multiverses and she's the only one that she knows yeah. of and she also doesn't dream she also doesn't dream because the dreams anytime that you dream that you're actually witnessing something happening to your one of your other selves yeah in the multiverse yeah so um dr strange is like oh that explains the ponytail yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. she's like, you know what else <laughs> explains the funny tale? This dead body that yeah. I brought with me. Yeah, she uh, shows it to him. So, yeah, she shows I it. Think, they... Does she also tell tell them about her parents at that point? Mm, I, don't I don't remember. I think so, because the parents thing is like after is they go into the multiverse. Okay. Oh, that's right. Because yeah. it's the memory thing. Yeah, that's right. So there's the the dead Doctor Strange, mm-hmm. and Doctor Strange just like buries it. I'm just gonna bury him in the spill. Like. Yeah, and it's like, how many bodies have you buried? Yeah, well, she's she's like that, or I think Wong's like that's yeah. gotta like go against some ordinances, and he's like nobody will know. Yeah, I've done this plenty of times before, and it's like what? oh okay, starting to worry um, about you, buddy. Um, so. They realize that the demon monster thing um, that they just at- were attacked, that was just attacking and trying to get her and everything, and the one from his dream, mm-hmm. they all have runes on them. Right. It's like, well, that's not sorcery, that's witchcraft. Yeah. And so um, Wong Who is do like, we know? Yeah. So, so <laughs> Wong is like, okay, well, I'm going to go take America to the temple thing yeah, I don't that I wrote the called. name of that I can't remember. I don't remember. What it was. It starts with an S, I think. Uh, no, uh, Camartage. Oh, okay. That sounds S. That's, that's totally got an S in it. Um, <laughs> that, I do that so many times. Don't, don't worry about it. Uh, so he's like, I'm going to take her there. I'm going to take her there for her protection. And you go find the only person we know who does witchcraft, mm-hmm. which is Wanda. Wanda Scarlet so, Witch. Yeah, so we see Wanda and her two sons, and she's tucking them into bed. Oh, yeah, yeah. And one of them doesn't want to be tucked in anymore because he's too old for that. Mm-hmm. And then the other one's like, you can tuck me in, Mom. Yeah. So she goes over and tucks him in and, like, kisses his forehead, and the other one's like... <sighs> Okay, you can tuck me in, too. <laughs> so she goes over and tucks him in, and then mm-hmm. she wakes up, because it was all a dream. Yeah. And, and she's real she's sad. all by herself. All yep. by yeah, herself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and, yeah, so. She's got a nice Wanda. little apple orchard or something. She does. it Out I'm there. Pretty sure it's an apple orchard. Yeah. And that's where Doctor Strange finds her. And that's, I guess, where she was at the end of WandaVision, the extra credit scene. Yeah, I the- I guess cabin so. and all that. So they're walking around. She's pruning the trees and everything, mm-hmm. and they're talking. And he's like, he's "Oh like, man, yeah. this smells real." Yeah, uh, she's, she's like, like I, "This is real." She's like, "Because it is." Mm-hmm. Duh. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> "Well, we got a girl. There's a we girl. We need some help because mm-hmm. she's being chased around by somebody who's like really big into witchcraft." Mm-hmm. I was hoping that you could help us out. And she's like, "Oh yeah, sure. You can just bring America here, and I'll yeah. take care of her and everything." And she, yeah. he's like. Huh. And I was like, huh. <laughs> he didn't say her name. I was like, he didn't say it. He never told her her name was America. Yeah. And she's like, you never said her name was America. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, got it. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then she just goes in and like, okay. It's this me. Is, this is a big spell. There's no orchard. Well, there is an orchard, but it's dead. Yeah, it's like all burnt looking. It's yeah. gross. Because she's been messing around with the dark hole. Yeah. Dark hold? Hold. I think it was dark hold. I can never remember. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, she is uh, being a bad Yeah, girl. she's a Scarlet Witch. Um, and she's like, well, you, you mess with stuff, you know, beyond your control with the time mm-hmm. stone. And it worked out for you, but I do it. And I'm yeah. the villain. Anytime that I do this mm-hmm. bad stuff, I'm the yeah, villain. That's not fair. It's so unfair. Yeah. I, so. And, I, and, you know, she probably is like the only one that should really be mad at him because because he gave oh, Thanos the time stone yeah. and she lost was, vision. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah, he gave him the time stone, which Thanos shows up. Mm-hmm. She's just destroyed the mind stone. Yeah. Killing Vision, Vision in the process, mm-hmm. and then he's like, "Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, reverse!" <Nope. laughs> and she Little has to watch, car. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she has to watch him kill Vision in front of her again, yep. and, he and get the, the mind, mind stone. stone. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah. yeah so. so that's tough. It yep. is, but I like that she's just looking for. She's just been looking around for a universe with her kids. Yeah, because she like, wants to go to it. Yeah, because she's like, be I've been, kids. I've been looking, searching in all of them, and she's like, all of them in all of the other universes, or that's what she said. Well, yeah, a lot of them. I think she, I thought she said all of them, but maybe, maybe. it's maybe it's just a lot of them. But she has them in those, and yeah. she doesn't in this one, and she just wants her children. But. It's rough go for vision. She doesn't really care if she finds him. Right. <laughs> like, it's I like, just want my kids. I just want my children. <laughs> Whatever. I don't vision. care. Who about cares about vision? vision? <laughs> it's like, okay, well. Yeah. Yeah, so she wants the power so she can create a portal to another universe so she can get her kids. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if she plans on bringing the kids to this we're just taking Universe their place. Just, I don't know. She yeah. doesn't really go into specifics, but yeah, she doesn't want to accept because she gets asked later, like, "What are you gonna do with the uh, Wanda the, in that universe?" Yeah, exactly. She's like, Meh. <laughs> don't care. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, what are you? What's gonna happen? I, it feels like she should be able to find a universe somewhere where the kids exist and Wanda is dead. Yeah. And it'll be even better if Vision is still alive in that one. Yeah. And then they can just have their little happy yeah. family. Yeah. Where's that universe? She has Show found me it that yet. that one. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah, so. But yeah, and her fingertips are turning black because it's corrupting her. Oh, yeah. Because if you use that book, it you get corrupted. gross. It's like Agatha had black fingertips also because mm. she was messing around with it too in WandaVision. Mm, okay. So, Yep. It's bad news. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. So, anyway, of course, Doctor Strange has told him, I told him, told her where they're taking America. Right. Yeah. Dumb move. Dumb move. A lot of dumb moves in this there movie. Was, yeah, because there's <laughs> another real big dumb move that I'm like, yeah. oh, because I didn't think about it. And then I saw somebody talk, said something about it. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. That Now that you mentioned that, that was real dumb. Yeah. We'll get to that. Yeah. So, yeah, she knows where Wong's taking America. So, she's like, I'll be there soon. You can give her up. You can surrender Dorothy or you can die. <laughs> yep. And... It's funny because she's a wicked witch. Oh, yeah. There has been a lot of people trying to compare this to the Wizard of Oz, but it doesn't. I, I, it's dumb. That's literally the only. <laughs> there, are, there are some like stuff, but that's yeah. basically the only way that the only thing that I see. Yeah, I see her works. as the wicked witch. That works, but a lot of people are being real weird about it. Okay, <laughs> making a lot of leaps. Oh man. Anyway, so he shows up there. He's like, oh, so um, I may have messed up a little bit Mm -hmm. because she knows where we are yep and And she's she's a coming and we can't just give her america yeah so prepare defenses (laughs) (laughs) exactly so they have like all these people coming in i i could not have been more disappointed with the defense of the biggest magic temple so bad of all the magic users in the world they have they they put up a shield with the yellow thing and then once that shield's broken up 
We're dead. Everybody we'll dead. use bow and arrows and cannons like we're in freaking the middle Renaissance. Ages. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. What? <laughs> Y'all are magic. Throw some dragons at her or something. Right? Go crazy. It's ridiculous. Use your portals to like portal her somewhere else. Yes. Just go. You've done this before. This should have been an amazing fight, but it was, it was just so like she just destroyed them. Yeah, once she, she was able to like find one sorcerer in there and corrupt his mind, yeah. and he ran away, and all their defenses fell. And meanwhile, Doctor Strange not even putting up a shield when everybody else is putting up a shield. He could have like could have put up a backup shield. You know, hey, bro, yeah. help. Didn't though. No. Okay. So disappointed. I was very disappointed in this part. Yeah, that was pretty disappointing. Um, but we did get to see that cow sorcerer, which yeah. is in the comics. I don't remember his name. Yay. It's like Renthor or something. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I see yeah, this character and I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so um, th- she comes on into the temple or whatever. Mm-hmm. And because Doctor Strange is like, you're going to have to go through me. So she steps forward and she gets trapped. Yeah. And that was cool. That was really cool. But it's like a mirror verse kind of. Yeah. But it's a smaller version of it. I mean, and she tries to like proceed. It like makes spikes that get closer to yeah. her. Yeah. It was real weird. But did they not realize that she can easily get out of that? Apparently, <laughs> they were just she hoping gets out she didn't so know. Fast. Yeah, she and she's uses like, the reflections. Huh, maybe if I just stick my hand through this reflection, I can stick my whole body just through it too. Just get the out reflections. Of here. Yep. So that's what she does. She starts just like pulling people through yep. through puddles, mm-hmm. and I'm like, why is it? Why so are there so many puddles? There? Yeah. Did you just why? have? What, did Was somebody mopping? <laughs> what? Yeah. It's ridiculous. I don't know. So yeah. anyway. I thought the gong was a good idea. I mean, that's cool because it's yeah. shiny. Yeah. And yeah, she came out of there like the ring. It did, <laughs> it did piss me off, though, when America's like, here, let me help cover these puddles. And then she looks into one. Yeah. It's like, girl, you know what? Come on. Yeah. You've seen. Just cover it. Yeah. But then, yeah, she comes out of the gong and, like the girl from the ring. She's like, or also like Pennywise. There's this one scene from yeah. it where Pennywise yeah. comes out of something and he's like, Oh, I mean, it looks like she's just all... Body's all contorted, and yeah, it's got to break all the bones back in together. Yeah, and it's like she... The, like, spikes and stuff, she must have hit some of those coming out or something, because she's got, like, scratches and stuff on her. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, she comes out, she's fine, and then she's like, all right... I tried to, that girl. you know, be nice about this. Yeah, because they had a little talk before, and she was mm-hmm. like, "I was being reasonable this whole time, and now, but I'm, now I'm gonna be unreasonable." I'm now, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so there's a big fight. She tries to take America's powers. Mm-hmm. This poor kid, everybody's just trying to take her powers. Everybody wants those powers, but since she's scared, of yep. course, she creates a portal. Yeah, Doctor Strange tries to. Uh, she he goes to save her. He jumps in front of her, and his. Cape gets damaged. Yeah, cape takes a bullet. Yeah. And they go through the portal together. Yeah. And this is where they go through a lots of different portals. Lots of different portals. I mean, yep. it was much longer than it should have been, I thought. Yeah. I had, to, I had to look up some of them because there were so many. There were so many. It was just like flashes of them, basically. Yeah. One of them was like a cartoon version, which I really I love liked. that one. Yeah, that was cool. Um, there was one where they were just paint. Yeah, which apparently she had been to and said it's yeah. hard to eat there. Yeah, she's like, it's not a fun one to be in because you just can't eat anything there. Yeah. Uh, it looked really cool, though. Yeah. Um, there was a dinosaur one, mm-hmm. which may be Savage Land. Who knows? Probably not. But there's a noir one. Yeah. Sounds uh, right. There was one with apparently the Living Tribunal, like the faces of the Living Tribunal with a little hood on him, the mm-hmm. blanket on him or whatever. I didn't see that when I watched it. I just I think I saw, I saw pointed it out. Some, I think I saw that one, yeah. but I didn't know what it was. Yeah. There was a beehive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there was in a beehive. There was a future one with pipes and little Stark drones running around everywhere. Yeah, there was a bunch. Yeah. There were even more than that. I can't even remember one. Yeah. There was a bunch. But they land in one that looks real futuristic and real eco-friendly. Yeah, it looks really cool because, like, all of the buildings, they're in New York, of course. All the buildings there have, like, plants just growing out of them. It's like yeah. everybody has, like, a roof garden, but it's not mm-hmm. just a roof garden. It's, like, balcony gardens and everything. Yeah. And like, everybody's wearing, like, drab, like, mono monochrome clothing yeah. though they're all like wearing black and gray and stuff like that i thought that was been weird and it shows like you see the empire state building and there's like a waterfall coming off of yeah. it yeah that was pretty cool and there's like windmills in the sky yeah and stuff, it so. looked really neat yeah 
And so they start walking around. He starts going on green and almost gets hit yeah. because in this universe, green means stop and red means go. Yeah, which is oof, okay. It's oh, so weird. Sure, why not? She's like, don't assume you know what's going on. Yeah. Universes are crazy. Exactly. So she's like, well, uh, uh, he le- loses sight of her. And yeah. then she shows up. She's got this big thing of pizza balls. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, how did you pay for that? And she's like, uh, I didn't. It's Every- free. It's free. That's how most universes are. I yeah. don't know why you guys have to pay it's for food. weird that You're y'all weird. do pay for it. And then, um, actually, she was supposed to pay for those pizza balls. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Bruce Campbell yeah. is there. He's the pizza ball guy. He's the pizza ball guy. And he's like, you didn't pay for that. Yeah. And she's like, oh, shoot, I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> and then he looks at Dr. Strange and he's like, you stole that suit from the museum, yeah. from the Strange Museum. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and they they get away and he does something where he makes the guy yeah. hit himself pretty yeah. much he's just beating himself up beating himself up spraying with stuff with mustard and all that. yeah and he's like she as they're walking away she's like how long is that gonna last like a couple of hours or whatever he's like <laughs> yeah three weeks yeah <laughs> this poor guy is pretty does, messed up does this mean that he has to stay out there with his little pizza ball <laughs> cart like yeah for three weeks he can't yeah. can he go home is he still gonna be beating himself when he goes home probably does he even have a home? I'm <laughs> probably not. I'm worried about him. <laughs> Bruce Campbell, are you okay? I love Bruce Campbell. Yeah, and this was because it was a Sam Raimi movie. That was him. They got to have Bruce Campbell in a Sam Raimi Campbell. movie. And I okay, <laughs> I did not know that this was directed by Sam Raimi right. going into it. <laughs> So I didn't realize. And I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. They got Bruce Campbell. Yeah. Didn't think anything else of it. Because <laughs> I'm like, well, I mean, well, he, literally just saw him this past Christmas in a Hallmark movie. Yeah. So I'm like, he could be in anything. Yeah. He's taking whatever he can get <laughs> It's right just now. like, just please give me work. Yeah. Um. So I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. And we got Bruce Campbell. <laughs> good that's, to see oh, him. I like him. Yeah. It's so good to see him. <laughs> Hope we get pizza ball guy the rest of the movie. <laughs> and then, like, didn't think anything yeah. of the connection. Yeah. And then later in the movie, <laughs> some stuff starts happening. I'm like, <sighs> This looks strangely familiar. Yeah. Why does this look like Army of Darkness? Why does this look like yeah. Evil Dead? Yeah. And I mean, this the whole beating himself up happens in Evil Dead too. Yeah. When he punches himself yeah. a lot. And, and I wrote in my notes as I was like, as this thing was happening, because there are these like, there are these demon character things later and they're like yeah. attacking someone. And the just the way that they're attacking, I was like, this looks it is very exactly like scenes from yeah. Evil Dead. Yeah. When they're in the cabin and things are, you know, yeah. I'm like, did Sam, did Sam Raimi direct this? And then at the end it says, directed by Sam Raimi. Yeah. I'm like, okay, thank God. Because <sighs> yeah. I'm like, if it's not, this person has very Sam Raimi-ish <laughs> directing. <laughs> but it was. I felt yeah. real stupid up until that point. And then I was like, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see now. And then, I, and you, then you were like, yeah, and Bruce Campbell. I'm like, Oh my god, that should have been a hit. <laughs> I <Yeah>. feel dumb. <laughs> but I didn't know. Didn't know. Oh. So yeah, they they continue walking down the sidewalk and there's some kind of memory store. Yeah. Where they'll like record your memories or something, you can keep them. Yeah. And, and we get Doctor Strange where he was on a dinner date with, with what's Christine. her name? Christine. Christine Palmer. Ah, very, very good name. She gives him that watch. Mm -hmm. Because you see the watch earlier in the film, it's broken. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it broke in the first movie. Yeah, I think during his wreck. Probably. And he like keeps it because it symbolizes how wrecked his hands are and everything. Yeah, and also because she gave it to him. And it still works or whatever. Yeah, and because she gave it to him. So yeah, he sees the memory and he's like, "Ah, I don't want to see any more of this. We don't have time for this. We don't have time for this. And so he starts walking away. And then America steps on the little thing and starts seeing a memory. And it's her when she was a little girl. Mm -hmm. And she's, like, picking flowers and everything. And her moms are there. Because she has two moms. Yep. And she gives one of them a flower. And her mom puts the flower in, like, behind the ear of the other mom. And Mm -hmm. it's, like, a little sweet little thing. It was. And then she goes back to the flowers and there's a bee. Bee on her hand. There's a bee! Ah, Not the bee! He's not that bad. <laughs> and the bee scares her, and she opens her first portal. Yeah. This is the first time that it, her power has manifested, I guess. Yeah. 
And I guess because there was nothing else scary in that world, because it looked like this really like idyllic yeah. kind of place. It was really nice looking. Yeah, kind of alien looking. I don't know her looking, backstory but, very mm. well. I know her like parents did die, but they like became part of the planet or something. I don't mm, know. Okay. But, but yeah, anyway, the portal opens up. It sucks them in. Yeah, they're gone. <laughs> and it she's freaking out, and then it sucks her in, too. And so now she's she doesn't know where they are. They mm-hmm. might still be alive. She doesn't know. Yeah. But she's but, like, they're probably dead. I probably killed yeah, them. She, yeah, she blames herself. You've seen these crazy that. universes? <laughs> they probably went to the B universe. They're probably paint. <laughs> How do I get them back? <laughs> Maybe yes. they're cartoons somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> she's been looking for them, I guess. Well, it's kind of hard for her to look for them, though, because she's being she chased can't, also. <laughs> well, because she can't control her powers. That's true, too, yeah. So, she's just kind of having to live in these places until something scares her enough to mm-hmm. get her to another place, I guess. <laughs> yep. So, I guess she, she probably doesn't have a lot of time to i mean it's just like hey if i just i stopped in this one maybe i can find them here yeah and if not i gotta wait till something scares me yeah. enough to open it up a portal again yeah that would suck i don't get scared right when i find them oh my gosh <laughs> like, hey yeah, there they I are don't. truck <laughs> <sighs> Um, so anyway, she doesn't know where they are. Yeah. They start heading to the, uh, Sanctum Sanctorum. Yep. And they get there, and there's this huge statue of Doctor Strange. Yep. And there's a plaque on it that says that he died saving the world from Thanos. Yeah, the world's mightiest hero. Yep. So apparently... Not Thanos, Strange. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanos, the world's mightiest hero. <laughs> so apparently Thanos was a threat in that universe, too. Yep. But, um, since he, since Doctor Strange is dead... Who's the Sorcerer Supreme yeah, in this world? Yeah, who's taking care of the Sanctum? And the door opens. Yeah. And Baron Mordo <laughs> yeah. walks out. Dreadlock Mordo. Mm-hmm. His nemesis, who I do not yeah. remember because I can remember very little <laughs> from the first Doctor Strange movie. Yeah. I've seen it once. Yeah, and he's like, um, oh yeah, this dude hates me. Like, Yeah, he's like, it's not gonna be good. Uh, this is my enemy. So At the end of the last movie, he was like, I'm killing all sorcerers throughout everything. So this is probably not great for yeah. us. Yeah. So he comes up to him and he's like, you. What up? Oh my God, it's so good to see you. And he like hugs him and everything. He's like, oh, okay. You said so you'd come. I'm this, so happy to see you. He's like, so this is happening. Okay, yeah. weird. Um, so Let's t- have some tea, yep. friend. So he takes him inside. They have some tea. Mm-hmm. Uh, they tell their story. And he's like, wow, yeah. that's pretty cool, bro, I guess. I mean, yeah. but also not cool. He tells them about dream walking. That mm-hmm. he thinks that's what she's probably doing. Yeah, he's like, yeah, she's probably she's probably dreamwalking. That's probably how she's gonna try to yeah get to she's you, like controlling yourself in other yes. multiverses. Yes. Yeah, so if they see Wanda, uh, uh, better run because it's probably Scarlet Witch in mm-hmm. dreamwalking in Wanda. Yeah. And then oh, they get what's woozy. going on? <laughs> it, I feel kind of drunk. Yeah. And just never drink tea. No. In a new place. Especially um, if the guy who you thought was your enemy is suddenly <laughs> yeah. so nice to you. Maybe he doesn't really like you as much as you think. Yep. So, yeah, they've been drugged. And he's like, oh, it was the sands of whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what it was called. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, they they pass out. Yep. And... They wake up in some cubes. Well, Something first, happened, though. first it goes back to Wanda because oh. she's still there in t- I don't know what it's called. <laughs> yeah. um, that place. Yeah, uh, she's in the temple still. Uh-huh. And she got Wong all. <laughs> she's got up. Wong tied up, and she's like, "All right, I'm gonna use the Stark hold. I'm dream walking mm-hmm. into Wanda in." whatever universe they've gone into. Yeah. How does she know which one it is? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think, well, <laughs> I think she was searching around for a long time. Maybe, but I don't know. Mm-hmm. Anyway, she goes in there. She does basically possess that Wanda. Yeah. And she's there with her kids in their house. Yeah. And at one point, there's like... She looks at a picture of herself and the picture moves. I was like, ooh, that's weird. Was that this time? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then... Yeah, that was crazy. The possession, whenever it's happening. Yeah. yeah. So she pes- she possesses that Sam Raimi does a good horror movies. Oh, yeah. He's good at yeah. that stuff. Yeah. So she possesses herself, basically. Mm-hmm. And she, like, does this fourth wall break where she looks straight at the camera. Too. Yeah. I was like, oh, I didn't that's... notice it when we watched it, but I saw it online. Oh, though. I saw it because I was like, oh, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> and then she goes, because she hears 
the kids call into her because they're yeah. like, Mom, come come look, come look. Yeah. So she's like, okay, fine. So she goes in there and they do this little thing because they want ice cream. Yeah. So they sing this little song that to her. That was a cute little song. And it was so cute. <laughs> and she's like, oh my God, I've missed them so much. You oh know, she's gosh. just, you know, overcome. Yeah. And then... Uh, Back in the our world, yeah. I say our world because like, the, but you know the regular the universe. regular universe. Wong is still sitting there and he's watching all this. And mm-hmm. one of the people who did not die, Sarah, I, which okay. is apparently his girlfriend in the comics. Okay. Anyway, she comes up and she's like, "We've got to destroy yeah. the dark hold. You can't do it though. I got to do it. Yeah, so. I got to do it. He's so like, release me. Don't do it." So she goes over there and she pulls a Harry Potter in yep. the Chamber of Secrets <laughs> and just stabs so stabbing book. that book. <laughs> yeah. And the book is destroyed and Ooh. she's also destroyed. Yep. With a little tear on her. Yep. And she cried a little bit. And yep. um, Wanda's like, no. what have you done? Yeah. Now I she loses her possession. Yep. Cuts her so, ties. Yep. Cuts the ties between her and the other Wanda. Mm-hmm. So she can no longer dream walk because she doesn't have the dark hold anymore. Yep. So she's like, Wong, tell me. Mm-hmm. Tell me the spells that are in that book. And he's yep. like, mm, nope. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. And she finds these other people who are still survived. Uh, they, yeah. They've survived. And she's like, I Including will. Including Cow Sorcerer. Yep. She's he's like, I will there. kill them all if you don't I'm tell me. torture the heck out of them. Exactly. And he's like, okay, the book is only a copy. Mm-hmm. Spells are at this place called Wondagore, which yeah. I always want. I kept wanting to call Wondagore. <laughs> yeah. Which honestly, my kind of turns into kind of works. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's called Wondagore. I think and in the comics, the High Evolutionary is there. That's where he lives. But okay. Anyway, yeah. I don't know who that is. It's all right. Okay. They've etched in so whoever it was etched in all the dark cold. To the walls and the floor. Mm-hmm. The windows and the wall. Yes. So anyway, they, they head off that way. Yeah. Then we're back in the other universe um, where Strange and America are. Doctor Strange and America are in these little cubes. Mm-hmm. They can't get out. He's handcuffed. He's handcuffed, so he can't do his slingering thing. Yeah. And he's talking to somebody. He's like, hey, let us out of here. And mm-hmm. I'm like, it's obviously Christine. Yeah. And, she and, it is. and it's Christine. Yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, there's that mole. Yeah, there she is. Mole, mole, mole. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, she's there and she's been working with the people in that facility. Mm-hmm. And they're very aware of other universes. Yes, they know all about other universes. And she says that he's from the universe, the 616 universe, mm-hmm. which is the comic book universe. The comic book universe, mm-hmm. because the MCU universe, MCU universe is supposed to be like. One nine 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 nine. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but and they also said this in the Spider Man Far From Home mm-hmm. when Mysterio was like, "I'm from eight three three or something." Yep. You're in the six one six, so I guess they're just making this six one six now, which is kind of weird, but yeah, whatever, it's fine, I guess. But I mean, it's movie version of six one six. Yeah, I, I, I just don't know how that works. Version of but 616, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I saw, several, <laughs> I saw several people who were annoyed at that. Yeah, but I was I'm not like, really annoyed. It's just yeah. I, I just I hope it doesn't. I hope they don't try and do something stupid with yeah. it. But I was like, I don't care. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> exactly. So the one they're on is Earth eight three eight. Yes. And yeah, so they know all the stuff about the multiverse. Mm-hmm. And um, they don't really trust him. Yeah. And Mordo shows up and he's like, I'm going to take you to the. See the Illuminati. Who are in charge here. And he's like, Is it this person? And he's like, No. Is it this? No. It's like, It's the Illuminati. Yeah. And he has these Ultrons that yep. are there with him. He's got some too. Ultron robots. Yep. So I guess Ultron. They seem to be not trying to kill everybody. Yeah. So. I, I guess Ultron <laughs> turned out okay in this universe. Yeah. So good but for them. But who created him in this universe? We don't see like a Tony Stark. We don't see an ant man. We don't. So I don't know. But you know, maybe we'll find out who it was. Maybe one day. Do <laughs> anyway, we? well, I have a, a theory of who it is. <laughs> okay. Can you not guess. I don't think okay. so. Um. Anyway. Oh. Uh, then- oh, and she also says when okay. she's talking to him when I first got excited was well, she's like you're at the Baxter Institute, mm-hmm. which Baxter Building. I did not write that down. Is Fantastic Four's. Okay. Headquarters. Okay. That's where they live. Okay, because I was going to ask you, and then I yeah. totally forgot about it. Yeah, I was pretty I excited when they said that. Nice. So, uh, Wanda and Wong get to Wanda Gore. Uh-huh. They find all the runes on the walls. Mm-hmm. But then there are these, like, troll-looking guards that show up. Yeah. 
And they're like, oh, we're ready. We got to fight them. Yeah. Ready. Let's get ready to fight. And then they just bow down to Wanda. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. It's like, why, why are they bowing down? And she's yeah. like, it's not a tomb. It's a, a throne. throne. Yeah. And there's and this, she's on there. There's this big, like, freeze behind her on the wall that is, like, the Scarlet Witch. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I guess this is her place. Yeah. Don't know. Don't All right. Know. Don't know how that works, but okay. I don't know. Anyway, so, back to the other Earth. Yep. Doctor Strange is taken to see the Illuminati. Yep. And you can see on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, so excited for this, this part. This was a good part. Because this was so, the part of the movie that I freaked out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so in the comics, the Illuminati mm-hmm. is, it was like, they got together all the heads of like the stuff they got. They got Iron Man because he led the Avengers. Mm-hmm. Professor X because he was the leader of the X-Men. Reed Richards because he led the Fantastic Four. Okay. Namor, he leads the underwater. Mm-hmm. Atlantis, uh, Doctor Strange because he's Sorcerer Supreme. And someone else. Who am I forgetting? Somebody else. I don't know. Weird. Anyway. Oh, no? I don't know. Anyway, so they just kind of like mm-hmm. do a lot of nefarious stuff. They kind of control, try to control everything. Like they send the Hulk into space at one point because they're like, he's too dangerous. We got to get rid of him. Is that where the whole planet Hulk thing mm-hmm. shows up? Because okay. they were like, deuces, bro. And he comes <laughs> back and he's real mad about it. Yeah. And, and then, yeah. And then they do some other stuff, which we'll get to in a second. But I, I didn't like the Illuminati in the comics because okay. it was like making these guys who are good guys do a lot of really cruddy stuff and just like they wouldn't do that and captain america and black panther were involved with them and beast but they all left because they were like you'll suck (laughs) (laughs) you're like oh black bolt was the other one because he leads the inhumans so yep so this illuminati though who do we have so baron mortal well first of all first of all he takes him in there and he's like he he's like okay we're gonna we're gonna judge you and I'm presiding or whatever and he's like Carl Mordo and mm-hmm. he's like Carl <laughs> that's funny yeah. um so he's there then we have Captain Carter yeah so there, there we go is. Uh, from the What If um, TV show yeah so apparently there are several universes where she is and that mm-hmm. happens to be one of them yep. So there we go. We've got Captain Carter. Mm -hmm. Then we have, you just mentioned him, Black Black Bolt Bolt. or King Blackagar Boltigan. It's so dumb. That is His name is so dumb. Name. Blackagar Boltigan. And Doctor Strange says something to him. (laughs) And I don't know what he said, but it sounded like he was talking... Like, he was saying something, making fun of his name. Probably. I, and I, I really I think, hope so. I can't remember what he said, but I think he did make Maybe fun he's of like S- Stephen Agar Strange again or something. <laughs> yeah. If so, I love Doctor Strange even more. Yeah. that was well-deserved. And it was the actor who played Black Bolt it in was. the TV show. It One was, of the only good things about that TV show. It was Anson Mount. Yeah. I never saw Inhumans, so I don't Which know how bad it was. never should. No one should um, ever watch that show. <laughs> it it looked, was the worst. It looked pretty bad from the like previews and stuff that I saw. So. As bad as it looked, it was worse than that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well. <laughs> but they gave him the whole suit. He had the whole tuning fork on his helmet, yeah. which was like, oh, oh, yeah. Did he have that in the show? Mm, well... The show didn't really use their suits. It okay. was bad. It okay. was stupid. Okay. <laughs> so no, I don't I don't think so. So anyway, he's there. So okay, well first of all, we have Captain Carter, so that's that's mm-hmm. basically Captain America. Right. So I guess so she's she has, probably leading the Avengers. Probably. In so this she universe. has like she has all of that all the same powers that yeah. Captain America would. Right. Black Bolt, his powers are if he it says anything it turns into like it can it creates like this blast like a it's concussive like a sonic, blast a sonic blast yeah kind of, so except not the not the not, sonic the, not blast, the dessert not the dessert that you get at sonic <laughs> it gives you a sonic blast you have to eat it i'm like get... can it be oreo please thank you <laughs> no it's all m M&M. <laughs> oh i'll still eat it yeah but yeah so like even if he whispers he can like destroy countries or stuff so okay yeah he's destroyed planets and stuff before he's crazy Crazy strong. Okay, but he does, but it's not every time he talks. It's every time he talks. It's every time he talks. He can't talk. He never talks. Really? Mm hmm. He Dang. only talks if he's trying to kill somebody. Wow. So, like, his wife kind of like. Talks they have this like, oh, like a mental connection, connection kind of thing? Okay. yeah, to where they kind of okay. Like wow, that would suck so bad. It's rough. He killed his parents. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Because like when it came about, he like 
what's up dog <laughs> and they're like ah! yeah <laughs> destroyed them yeah wow so, yeah okay it's a rough life for old black yeah, Agar- sounds like <laughs> whatever it. his name is Je- black agar bold again <laughs> yeah um wow okay so yeah. next up we have captain marvel yeah. but it's it is not carol not, danvers not carol it is maria rambo yeah who in the comics became her okay she was captain marvel for a bit in like the eighties or seventies or something. Cool. Yep. So yeah, it's her instead. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Good to see her. Um, and it was the same actress that was in Captain Marvel. Mm-hmm. Good to see her back. Mm-hmm. Um, and of course we know what Captain Marvel's stuff, what what she does. Yeah, so. she's marvelous. Yeah. And then they're like, and and there's like it just pans over to this like empty seat, mm-hmm. and then they're like the smartest man in the world or mm-hmm. whatever, and then he becomes visible teleports in with this oh, like is that what it is okay square teleport thing and it's reed, reed richards. richards played by played by john krasinski <laughs> and i flipped <laughs> you were very happy <laughs> i was so excited oh my god i was very excited too oh my god i was, I so, was so happy i was like uh, in my notes i just had john krasinski this is fantastic and he's wearing the fantastic four suit and i almost died <laughs> I was so excited because I've been wanting great. him as Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. And I know there are people who don't want him as Mr. Fantastic. I don't know why you wouldn't want Like, what's wrong with I him? I don't either because I think they still think of him as Jim. Okay. But <laughs> he's done so much stuff since then. He has, yeah. I mean, did you not watch A Quiet Place? I didn't, no. Did you not? I didn't. No. Oh, it's good. I've heard it's very good. There's a second one I haven't watched, though. I've but heard it's the first good. one was good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Um,. But and the Fantastic Four film just lost its director, so let Jim, Jim, let Jim direct it. He directs. <laughs> yep. So, because he directed A Quiet Place. Yeah. And he directed at least one episode of The Office, I know. Yep. Plus, he's been, on, he's been like Jack Ryan in mm-hmm. TV shows and yeah. stuff. So, I mean, it's not I think, that far fetched. I think he's a great choice. I think so, too. I'm mm-hmm. very happy Although, about it. I do wish my Nova theory with him and Dwight. <laughs> Yeah, I know, because I thought about that yesterday as I was walking my dog. I was like, oh, no, this messes up his whole thing. But the Fantastic Four cartoon had a robot named Herbie make Dwight Make Dwight Herbie. Herbie. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Solve. So anyway, I was so excited because mm-hmm. it's like, yes, finally. Yeah. <sighs> And then there, but there's another member left. And yeah, and they're like, and the last member mm-hmm. well, is. I don't know that he's the last member, or the last member that was there. Yeah, the only one, other one that they did hadn't shown yet was yeah. <gasps> Professor, Professor X. X. And he comes in in this yellow mm-hmm. floating little thing, hover. and he's wearing like a green jacket, and it'll tie just like his cartoon persona. <laughs> And they play the cartoon they play theme the song. They play the cartoon theme song. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, ah, this is the best <laughs> moment of my life. We were so just. So great. This ooh. was fan service palooza. Yeah, yeah we were just great. freaking out so much. Both of us just. Yeah. Because, I mean, both of those things right there together. Mm-hmm. It was just like, huh, what is happening? <laughs> Yeah. So, that but was there great. was an extra chair there, and like, who could it have been? Mm-hmm. Like, maybe it was Doctor Strange's seat before mm-hmm. everything went down. Maybe. Or oh, they the but, thing people okay. were talking about beforehand okay. were like, oh man, they're gonna bring it. There's talk. They're gonna bring it. Tom Cruise be Iron Man. Yes. I was like, don't, don't you dare. <laughs> I do not want Tom I was, Cruise. I was gonna be like anywhere if, in this. I was pictures. gonna be like, if Tom Cruise shows up in this movie, I might just walk <laughs> I'm out be because so mad. I will be so angry. Yeah. So okay, so we already <laughs> talked about. <laughs> <laughs> so we already already talked about Captain Carter. She's there because mm-hmm. she's the leader of the Avengers, most likely. Yeah. Black Bolt, leader of Inhumans. Inhumans. Yeah. Captain Marvel, who would she be? Cosmic stuff. Okay. Um, and of course, Reed Richards, because he's Fantastic leader of Fantastic Four. Four. Then we've got Professor X, leader X-Men. of the X-Men. What was the other one? Was there another that no, you were talking about? Oh, and the... Oh. Oh, and the Sorcerer Supreme, Supreme, so that's where Mordo comes in. So, Mm -hmm. oh, the underwater. So, yeah, there's no water thing. But maybe they changed the water to the cosmic stuff. Could be. I don't know. But, yeah. Anyway, so there they are. All of them in their glory. Yep. And then it goes back to Wong. Oh, yeah. Trying to stop Wanda from using the Darkhold powers. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I'm like, no, 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 go back. (laughs) Go back. Uh, But he can't stop her. He gets tossed off a cliff. Yeah. And I was like, if you kill Wong. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, surely he got himself. But I'm like, 
Because he tries. Hey, if, they, if they kill off Wong, that's going to suck. I'll be mad. Yeah. Because he's, I was like, he's been so important to these other movies. Yeah. It seems like they're kind of, he's like the linchpin to everything. Yeah. Like, who Lately. was in the other. Because he was, was in, in Shang-Chi. He was, I mean, he was. Yeah. Yeah, he was in Shang-Chi. He was, he's been in. Eternals. Was he in Eternals? Was he in Eternals? Hmm. I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe not. Maybe not. He was in something. I know he was in Shang-Chi. Yeah. He's but then he's been movie, in though. like, he's been in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But um, anyway. So I, I don't want them to kill off yeah. Wong. I yeah. like Wong. I like Wong too. <laughs> he's so cool. He's yes. so cute. And I love that he, he had this whole little running bit where, yeah. you know, he's <laughs> the Sorcerer Supreme. So uh, Doctor Strange is supposed to bow to him. Yeah. And he just won't do it. When other <laughs> sorcerers come into the thing, they're like, like, oh, this is very Exactly. Like, he's like. Tradition. Tradition. <laughs> Yeah. You see how it goes. That was Why great. won't you do this? <laughs> so I like the like, little play off there. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't, don't, please don't kill him. Mm-hmm. So uh, anyway, he, but he gets tossed off a, off a cliff and she starts dream walking and she dream walks into her other self again. Mm-hmm. And that other self flies off. Yep. And it's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Rue. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah. Uh, so the Illuminati explain why they can't trust Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's because of what their Doctor Strange did. Yeah. In their universe. He dabbled and with the dark coal. Yeah. Well, he's like, he's like, but I thought he was like the... Oh, the, the hero defeated the, Thanos. Yeah. He's like, I thought you've got a statue of him. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, um, but uh, he did yeah. some bad stuff. Yeah. So yeah, he used the dark hold. Mm-hmm. He helped them. I did he do it just to help them to defeat Thanos, or was it was he using it before? I don't. I don't know. know. I don't. He might have been. I think he was doing it to find the answers, and then they found the book of Bishanti. Okay. And they used it. They're like, yeah, you're here to use that. We've already used that, dude. And like, that's how we killed Thanos. Mm. And then he's like, but then afterwards, who kept messing with the dark hold and kept looking at other multiverses and he caused an incursion where he almost almost caused one yeah. he said yeah and apparently they've been finding out the incursions have been happening all over the place which incursions are a huge deal mm-hmm. in the comics because that was one of the bad things the illuminati would do okay i mean it was out of necessity because all of the universes were colliding together and so whenever one would get close to them they would have to like go blow up that earth Oh, okay. So they would have to go kill all these planets. Yikes. Yeah. That was a big so, yikes. Yeah, they would. They were building like bombs and stuff and mm-hmm. blowing everything up. And yeah, they were real troubled over it. But yeah, so if they lead to incursions in the next few movies, that's going to get real crazy. Real big, real intense <laughs> all of a sudden. So I'm interested to see if they actually follow through with that stuff. <laughs> okay. But anyway, they decide that the only way to stop him from doing all this stuff is to execute him. Mm-hmm. Uh, the thing is, when they do the execution, Thanos' dead body is there. Yeah. Yeah, they had just killed him. they had just killed him. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Because that that's why I was right. like, maybe he did something using the dark hold to kill him. Yeah. And then hmm. they were like, oh. Maybe he did it while, like, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. It doesn't really explain. Maybe that once he figured out the answer he kept doing it even though they already knew what they needed to do i don't know yeah that's confusing maybe yeah. I, I might have something in there but anyway so they decide to execute him mm-hmm. and so, so they get black bolt black bolt says i'm to, sorry he says i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. and, and they had anson like record different levels of him saying oh really I'm sorry yeah nice to do that yeah but yeah it just basically wipes him off the face of the earth pretty mm-hmm. much disintegrates him yeah. How do the other people? I guess it's it just yeah, if he's, it he has to be it. focused. Okay, I think that tuning fork. Okay, focuses, focuses it. it. That yeah. makes sense. And uh, yeah, so all the other people are fine. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so he's he's dead. Yep. And is there anything else that happens in there? That... No, I don't think so. He has the black fingers. Okay. So obviously he messed with them. So yeah, but that's while they're talking about all this, there's an alarm that goes off. Mm-hmm. Somebody's killing all the Ultrons. <laughs> and uh, Reed Richards is like, there's a security breach. And it's like, yeah, duh. That's what yeah. the alarms mean. Yeah, because no, Dr. Strange had told him, like, Scarlet Witch is coming. She's going to... Yeah. She's... She's, she's, coming for she's America, gonna destroy y'all, so. and they're real cocky. This Illuminati is real cocky. Oh, yeah. They're like, "Yeah, if she comes, yeah. we'll we'll take care of her." It's yeah, fine. we got this. Yeah. So anyway, we killed Thanos. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, yeah, so did we, and yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, the alarms go off. Wanda's there. Mm-hmm. She's the other, wrecking Ultrons. Yeah. The other people leave except for Mordo and Professor X. Yeah. And um, that's when Professor X shows him what happened. He show yeah, he, he went he gave he showed him the scenario. He put it in his head. Oh, I thought it showed it like as they were talking about it. No. Oh, okay, okay. I can't remember. Like, there was a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, they leave. Professor X tells him, and he tells him about the Book of Ashanti that is there in the building. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I trust you. You hid it somewhere, so you, yeah. you can find it. You can it. find it. And he's like, I trust you. And Mordo's like, uh, why do yeah. you trust him? <laughs> and he's like, but he is like, just do. Sometimes he says the same thing he said to himself in Days of Future Past. Is okay. like, sometimes we make mistakes or we fall or something like that. And I don't know. Okay. We become better i don't know something like that <laughs> so then he leaves too and so it's just prof- uh professor uh <laughs> dr strange and mordo are there together they're yeah. just, just sitting there waiting so we see them show up to fight wanda because uh-huh. christine is trying to get america out of the cube but it won't mm-hmm. open for some reason yeah great technology well because like there. the technology she's opening it it's just taking forever but then it wanda starts messing with well, the, that's the a, magic well that's after the whole, f- the first fight, the first part of the fight. Yeah. Well, I mean, but whenever she's it's trying to just, let her. Right, right now, there's, right now it's just taking a while and they're just yeah. like, oh my gosh, hurry up, open up. Yeah. So Wanda comes in, she's throwing Ultrons everywhere. And one of the Ultrons says something. I think it may just say Ultron. Oh, it, it, it says, it or says whatever Ultron. Ultron says. It's like bow to Ultron or something. I can't remember what I it can't. says. Anyway, but she's like, whatever. Yeah, she, <laughs> she just rips its head off. Yep. So, she comes in just wearing oil blood. <laughs> yeah. So they get up there. Reed Richards is like, okay, I'm going to try to talk some sense into her. Reed Richards, the smartest man in the universe. <clears throat> But she just, she's like, you know, you, she can't, he can't reason with her. And then he's like, Black Bolt. Well, okay, so okay, go ahead. he's like, just calm down. Yeah. Black Bolt here can kill you by just saying a word. Well, he doesn't say that yet. He just, he's like, calm down. I think he tells her to calm down first, and they have like a little. So they have a little time. Then like, he says, yeah, 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 she's like, do you have a family? He's like, yeah, I got kids. I got a wife. Yeah. And she's like, well, good. Because there'll be somebody here to take, take care, care of, of the kids <laughs> yeah. when you're dead, you know, yeah. after I kill you. He's like, <laughs> what black bolt here? He's gonna kill you with. Yeah, he can like, just say a word. Yeah, he can kill you with just one word from one word from his mouth. From yeah. his mouth, Stupid. and he starts like do it. Yeah, exactly. Why he would starts you do that? Yeah, tune in his fork. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's like, uh oh, here we go. And then she's like, what now? Yeah, and she's just made his mouth disappear. Yeah, he got no mouth. He's got no mouth. He cannot. Scream. He got no mouth. So he can't scream. <laughs> so he does like a silent scream inside he his head. Out. Well, he does scream, but it just bounces around yeah. his mouth and shoots exactly, up. Exactly, which head. is why I said it inside his mouth. <laughs> well, I, 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 he's, well, or yeah, inside of his matter. head, whatever. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. So he did. Yeah. So he's dead. Yeah. And it's like Reed Richards, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. Why, why did, did you say that? Tell her you what you're told- gonna do. <laughs> They're so cocky. They're so yeah, yeah. overconfident in this. Yeah. So that was thing. dumb. And that it was, was. Yeah. Smartest man in the world. Mm-hmm. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Way to go, idiot. bro. So anyway, he, so he's dead. Yep. Uh, then she does some weird thing where she turns Reed Richards into spaghetti. Yep. Basically. And, and pops his head. Pops his head and he's dead. Yep. So bye, John Rough Krasinski. Yeah. Hope to see you again in 2023 or whenever yeah. the fantastic four movie comes out yeah and I, when i <laughs> talked to my friend he was you know worried or, i don't know that he was worried he did he just didn't know that if they would bring back john krasinski but i'm like every Surely character is the same actor in all the universes yeah. so like i don't see why they wouldn't bring him back exactly because every time you see dr strange it's always been a dick to come back yeah if they freaking recast him that that's gonna yeah. be so stupid yeah i don't know why they would yeah then captain carter and captain marvel they show they're like okay well we we'll have to do this yeah, so they kind of fighting. tag tamer mm-hmm. so they start fighting mm-hmm. and we get it i can do this all day from captain yeah. carter oh we do and mm-hmm. then two seconds later she is sliced in half <laughs> with her shield <laughs> yep so Rough she's gone go. she had um, a little jetpack and everything yeah she did <laughs> she's like rocketeering everywhere yeah and, nope yeah so then it's only captain marvel Mm-hmm. Um, they start fighting. It looks like I mean it's this. She's having a tough time with Captain yeah. Marvel. Yeah. And then there's it like their powers like explode or something and knocks yeah. them both onto the floor. And then she just topples a statue over on top yeah. of her. And I'm like, really? That killed her? Really? <laughs> like, I mean, we don't know okay. for sure. We don't know. It killed her, but at least knocked her out. I mean, her hand then. was just there and was like, Ugh. yeah. 
dead hand. I don't know who that statue was know. of either. Yeah, don't know. But yeah, that, that Illuminati is pretty bad. Mm-hmm. So anyway. Professor X then shows up to stop her. Well, Christine. Was that later? Well, this is when Christine is trying to get America out of the cage. Oh, like, right. Still. She's still yeah. trying to do it. And then Wanda's like messing up the screen with yeah. her magic. So it's not working. Mm-hmm. And then America's like maybe because, oh, Christine grabs like something and is trying to like break yeah, like through the glass. Gas canister. Or the, whatever. I, can, I don't know if it's glass or what because it seems like it would have shattered pretty Yeah. Easy. Maybe it's like bulletproof glass or something. I don't know. But America uses her powers. This is the first yeah. time she's like tried to control it and use it. And she yeah. breaks the glass. She and it's like, like in a star pattern. It. Yeah. Which was cool. She got a star punch. Um, so yeah, star punch. <laughs> Activate. And then, But Wanda walks in. Yeah, so Wanda walks in, but she's stopped by Professor X, mm-hmm. who just hovers himself in there and is mm-hmm. like, hey, so let me Wanda. in your mind. <laughs> yeah. Um, so he goes into her mind, and there's like this pile of rubble, mm-hmm. and he goes up to it, and the Wanda from that Earth is in the pile of rubble, and he tries to pull her out. He's like, let me help you out. She's taking over your mind and all this stuff, or you're taking over your body, basically. Mm-hmm. So he tries to take her, pull her out, and then this red cloud comes yeah. up behind him, and it Just... gets up to him, <laughs> and like a demon-looking Scarlet Witch yep. pulls him, like grabs hold of him. Yeah. Snaps his neck. Snaps his neck. So Professor X dies again. <laughs> yeah. So that's like, what, the third time we've seen him die? Yeah. People are upset that, you know, Professor X got beat pretty easily, which I'm also like, he's so powerful. <laughs> like, it's insane that he would just go down like this. But also, yeah. they're real cocky in this universe. Mm-hmm. And maybe they're not used to somebody this powerful. So maybe. Yeah. But so anyway. he may not be as powerful as other universes. Hopefully. Because, man, yeah. he sucked. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty bad. So they're all dead. Yeah. But that gave Christine and America enough time to get away yeah. from Wanda. Mm-hmm. So they've run off. And she's like, dang it, now I'm going to have to chase after them. Mm-hmm. Um, so Mordo is still in there with Doctor Strange. And yeah. he's like, this is obviously not working. Mm-hmm. She's here. They're probably all dead now. Yeah. Uh, you got to let me go. You got to let me help. You got to let me get to the book. Yeah. And so he's like, I'm ready to pass judgment yeah. now. <laughs> and he's, they have this fight. Yeah. Strange like, Does he you, you probably it, yeah. gave him the dark hold. You've yeah. always had it out for Stephen. Yeah. Strange's. Yeah. He's like, it's in really every universe, deal. you're our enemy and mm-hmm. all this stuff. It's like, yeah. You're no good, Mordo. He's just trying to egg him on so that yeah. they'll fight. So they fight. So they fight. They break the cuffs. Yeah. And he cuffs himself to Mordo. Mm-hmm. They fall down in a trench that's randomly there. Yeah. And then the cuffs break. Like mm-hmm. apart completely, and yeah. so one of them has one cuff, one has the other, and then he just leaves. He like vaults off of Mordo up onto the he's like floor so he can get out. Let yeah. me give me an extra boost here. Yeah, and jumps up like, there. I'll get you. Strange. I'll get your strength. <laughs> yeah, so he gets out of there. Yeah, Christine and America are running through the hallway or whatever and they see something coming toward them. <laughs> it's like it makes these weird noises yeah, like, it's like, yeah exactly and then he walks around the corner it's dr strange yeah, it's like, like what were you doing bro <laughs> what was that what is your run <laughs> it's like do you do you have asthma i probably something? sound exactly the same when i run <laughs> so i probably can't fall like I, like i said do you <sighs> have asthma <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, they have to find where the book is. Mm-hmm. So, they start running down all these hallways. They're being chased by Wanda. They keep closing all these doors, and she just bursts right oh, through blast them. Blast doors, yeah. And then they finally get to one, and they close that blast door, and... Everybody just stands Everybody still. stands, and I'm just sitting there going, <laughs> keep yeah, going, Yeah, why did idiot. they stop? What are you doing? Yeah. She was... <sighs> just go. Yeah. Just go. They don't. No. Um, so she pops around the corner and scares yeah. him because I'm a good jump scare. <laughs> um, but then he like, he, there's like water dripping and he yeah. uses his powers to open up the water to flood. And yeah, she's, he's like, you up. better hold your breath or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then they get out through another door. Yep. And they find the, um, where the book is locked up. There's like this lock with a, I mean, there's like a, a safe door looking kind of thing yeah. from a bank or yeah. whatever and he tries to do use his powers to open it and it doesn't mm-hmm. work and christine's like the watch mm-hmm. because there's just conveniently there's this one little spot in there where he can put the watch and he puts it in and it well, opens it's, it up. it's supposedly, it's supposedly a like constant a yeah a constant among strangers is yeah. that they all get this watch from christine mm-hmm. so 
Yeah. So there we go. He uses it to open it. And that is where they find the book. They're yeah. back in that spot. It's in it's the, the gap place be- between, yeah. Yeah, the gap between universes right. or whatever. Yeah. So, or gap between worlds or mm-hmm. something like that. And it's the same place that they were at before, basically. Right. And so they jump out there. They go to get it. Um, he grabs the book. He starts looking into it. I guess he's looking for an answer or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then Wanda, of course, is there and she grabs America. Yep. Um, and then she destroys the book. Right. It's like, seriously? But I, I didn't notice when I watched this, but I looked online. They said, they pointed out that whenever it's like burning up, he's mm-hmm. looking at it and he sees one page with a star on it. Oh. And he somehow, he's able to interpret what that means or whatever. So, okay. and then, so that leads to the rest of the movie. Okay. So, um, she uses, like, she mind controls America to, like, open up a portal or something. Yeah. And then she throws Strain- Dr. Oh. Strange and Christine in and they just go flying off. Uh-huh. And then she, like, focuses the portal to show Wondagor. Yeah. Show herself in Wondagore, And they yeah. go through there. Mm-hmm. So she's, or she, she doesn't, she doesn't go through there. She right. puts, throws America through there, and then the portal closes. America's now there with Wanda, yeah, like with Scarlet Witch Wanda, and, the other and then Wanda's the other Wanda's like, like oh, <laughs> my boys, and she yeah. flies off and goes back to her her children, my baby boy, <laughs> my baby boys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <sighs> Doctor Strange and Christine are now in some random universe. Uh-huh. Where were they? Where everything is like falling apart. Oh yeah, looks like everything's been pretty destroyed. So it looks like the universe where in What If the Doctor Strange that universe where he kept trying over and over and over again to save Christine, and then he kept trying to get he kept getting more powers from all of these different demons or whatever to try to do it to yeah. keep to save her and then everything kind of started like imploding or whatever yeah so it looks a lot like that yeah could be i don't know if it is that because that one the way that ended yeah he it was, was like, just like, a, like yeah he was just all by himself crystal, in one little thing basically. yeah and so he's I, off guarding, guarding another yeah. thing now so yeah exactly so maybe there are two of them that are similar maybe he went yeah. a similar path in two different universes i've seen online that the one theory is that uh it was one of the incursions that the doctor strange of the 838 that he had to like destroy the other one and this is that planet because he says he lost at some point and then that's how this world came because there's just like bones all in front of mm. the sanctum also he says something about because he knows he, the way he talks, it kind of sounds like this happened after Christine marries that guy, the other yeah. guy. Because yeah. he says something about at the I wedding. Said I was happy yeah. then. I'm so supreme. But I, I be upset. Yeah. yeah. So maybe it's something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he just, after that happened, he just went insane and started just doing evil stuff. I don't know. Could be. But he also. He, does, he does some evil stuff. Yeah. Because he, he tells him that, you know. But he he's fought been, against something because he does say he yeah. lost and he had, he was trying to use the dark hole to win. But. Yeah. And he's been going through, he's, he's been killing other Doctor Stranges too. Mm-hmm. Because he's been dreamwalking because he says, um, have you ever dreamed that you were that you fell off a building or whatever. Yeah. He was like, was that was me. It was me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So um <laughs> I wish this was video. <laughs> it's gonna be real loud. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was an interesting face, I'm sure. Um <laughs> so yeah, they have this little talk and everything and then they start well i don't think they start fighting yet but they're talking about the dark hold and everything and he has a third eye he that does. just pops open yeah is that something that's in the comic books in the comics he does have a third eye but it's usually like a manifestation of the eye of agamotto okay so yeah i'm okay. not I guess this is more of a corruption eye, or maybe it's not, because yeah, the ancient know. one in the first movie told him to open his third eye and touched him there. Oh, so. okay. Well, maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know for sure. Hmm. Um. Anyway, so they start fighting. Mm-hmm. In a great fight. I love the fight. I'm going to say I kind of hated it. I loved it. <laughs> How fun. It was so ridiculous. <laughs> he, he gets knocked into a piano. And he... He starts, and they're like, sheets of music start uh-huh. flying everywhere. So he starts taking the musical notes, uh-huh. and they just have a music fight. <laughs> yep, they have a music fight. He defends so himself. Weird. Defends himself with a, 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 what is it? What's it called? Um, what are those things called? 
<laughs> the lines you put notes yeah, on. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. What is I can't, it called? I believe I can't think of what those are. Anyway, like measures. I don't uh-huh. know. But but either way, he captures them and sends it's them a, back at it's him. It's a like a music clef. I think it's what it's called because there's yeah. like treble clef and there's bass clef. Yeah. Okay. And so I think sounds right. I think that's what it's called, but I'm not really sure. Yeah. And I one... haven't had piano lessons since I was probably <laughs> seven, and I had two. <laughs> so yeah, don't yeah. remember all the specifics. But yeah, they start fighting each other. We and... Get some Bach music. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, we get all kinds of different things. I'm pretty sure there's a Beethoven in the air at one point. Probably. So yeah, they're just fighting back and forth yeah. with the music. And then um, all of the music is basically like in one like ball of energy yeah. or whatever. And he does this. <laughs> he, there's, he sees this harp in the corner uh-huh. and he makes it do one little tiny yep. note. And that one little tiny yeah. note comes over, over and just barely touches it and it explodes <laughs> and it throws the other, the evil Doctor Strange out the window. Yeah. He flies out the window. There's this <laughs> fence, of course, <laughs> below. Gets impelled. Just impelled on there. And yep. Christine's like, oh my God, because she's still <laughs> down there. And she's like, uh, yeah. yikes. <laughs> yeah. And in the process, the dark cold got unlodged at some point by one of the yes. notes. So. Yeah. He's got it. Yeah, mm-hmm. baby, he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. So he's going to use it to dream walk. Mm-hmm. to his his earth and um tells christine yeah. you gotta like, you gotta fight them off they're gonna try and kill me yep they're all the demons all the demons are gonna try to kill me because i'm not supposed to be doing this mm-hmm. uh because she's like wait to dream walk don't you have to have a doesn't your body have to be in that world that you're trying yeah. to dream walk into and he's like yes yeah but it doesn't have to be alive but it doesn't have to be alive <laughs> <And> so- <laughs> So we get zombie Doctor Strange, yeah. basically. So, uh, yeah, I, I, we saw zombie Doctor Strange in the trailer. And I was like, oh, man, are they going to do zombies yeah. like, in a zombie universe? I'm like, ah, but not really. <laughs> but not really. It's just that dead Doctor Strange. Yep. He brought him back. Dead little ponytail Doctor Strange. Yeah. Gets up. And goes if anybody's going to do zombies, it's... Uh, it's I'm gotta be it's, Sam Sam it's gotta be Sam Raimi. Yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he uses the body of the dead Strange, mm-hmm. um, who's not looking so good. Looking rough. Like part of his, Lost half his mouth face. is gone and everything. Yep. And it was, <laughs> it was around this point that uh, I thought, did Sam Raimi direct this? Because <laughs> like all the demons start coming out, they're like attacking Christine. She takes something and just like with like a torch and some I don't know exactly what she's using it was, or like a candle he, and he, some kind of. It was the basin of some B word. I don't know, but he he used it in the first Doctor Strange okay. movie. He was like pointing it at Casilius, and so this is like. You don't know how to use that, do you? Like, <laughs> and he just throws That's it at him. <laughs> yeah. But, he could have punished, banished him to hell, I guess. But okay. instead he just threw it at him. <laughs> but she uses it. It's kind of like a... F- Almost like a flamethrower kind of yeah. thing. And so she's destroying demons. But they, when they all started like f- coming toward her mm-hmm. and they were like right in her face and it was like from their point of view, yeah. like, looking down at her, I was like, this is Sam, Sam Raimi. Raimi. <laughs> yeah, very Sam Raimi. It's like, this, is, this has to be. It yeah. has to be. Yeah. It cannot be anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Then Wanda is starting to do the ritual to take America's powers. Mm-hmm. Wong is not dead because we see him. He's like all the way down. Yep. He's like on a little ledge. He wakes up. Um, he starts, he does some little, what's it called? Uh, he's got like a grappling hook. Kind yeah, of a grappling hook kind of thing. He starts climbing up the cliff. Yeah. And Doctor Strange is being attacked by these demons mm-hmm. because he's not supposed, to, I guess because he's not supposed to be using the powers to bring back the dead or whatever. Right. It's forbidden magic. It's forbidden magic. He ends up controlling them though. Christine yells at him like, you're the Sorcerer Supreme. Use them. You, you yeah. Know, you're, you can do this. You can do this. And so he's like, okay, I can. And so yeah. he uses them to help him fly up to the top of the mountain so that he can face Wanda. Mm-hmm. And uh, Wong gets up there too. The demon, uh, not the demons, the little troll things are up there too, but yeah. he, they're gone. They, they, they yeah. fall off. Yeah. <laughs> he basically dispatches them real quick. Pretty much. Um, so they're all gone. So yeah, there's a fight up there. They try to stop the ritual. And they end up, like, the demons go from Doctor Strange over to Wanda and they start attacking her like mm-hmm. they had done Christine. And I was like, yep, still Sam Raimi. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's, that's his thing. Yeah. Um, they do manage to contain her yeah, and the demons. Yeah, they surround her. Wong yeah. encapsulates them and with, like, this like, magic a, this ball spell. kind of thing. But she's still 
getting out. Yeah, she's still trying to break out and she can reach her hand out and everything. She's trying to get out of there. So Doctor Strange is like, America, you're going to have to use your powers. You're going to have to control. Well, she's like, "Uh, here, take my powers. I understand now. Uh, You can take them. It's fine if I die. And he's like, no, no, you, they're your powers. You can do this. Yeah. You can control. You can control it. She's like, I can't. It's like, you've been doing it all along. Baby. Exactly. And she's like, well, I mean, I guess I can try. So she does. Because he's noticed that. I guess that's what he saw in the book is that, that she's star. the she's yeah, she's the weapon she's, they need because she's the star of the show. <laughs> every portal she sent them through, sent them to the exact spot they needed to be. Mm. So, yeah. So it's like, you just got to you're able to do it. You can so do you can it. Do you it. just have to try. You just have to do it. Just so do, do it. it. <laughs> yeah. Just do it. Even with your parents, you probably sent them to a good spot. Yeah. To get away from that bee. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> so um, she opens up a portal and it's like, it looks like there's lava or something underneath them, mm-hmm. which is real weird. And she tries to push Wanda through. A lot of people have said that looks like that Star Wars world. It does look a lot like Mustafar. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that was also in something else. Maybe the first Doctor Strange. Or Thor or somebody. Then where else did they go through worlds? I don't, I don't know. remember. But well, there is this one. There is one part in Thor where, like the in Thor Ragnarok, where he's stuck with that the demon guy. Surter. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it no, yeah. Does, I don't, does it look like that? I, I can't don't think remember. so. Okay, I, I don't know though. So. Wanda does not go through it, though. She pushes no. back and everything. She's like, you can't do this. Mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, I can't. <laughs> she's like, I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, I can't beat you. Yeah, so I'm going like, to give you what you want. Yeah, exactly. So she opens up the portal to mm-hmm. 838. Yep. And her kids are. Yep. Her kids are sitting there watching Snow White and Seven Dwarfs. Mm-hmm. And they see her and they're like, ah! it's a witch yeah and they run away she like basically throws the other version of wanda across the room yeah and she goes over and they're like hiding behind they're the stairs her. they're just yeah. so scared of her and she's like i would never hurt you i would never hurt anyone and it's like yeah. girl you just like hurt your other wanda yeah. over there but sure whatever yeah she so starts to realize she realizes oops. yeah she's like oh i i did a big oopsie yeah um this I is probably, not gonna work out this, no. <laughs> um they're uh, terrified of me. Yeah. <laughs> this is not good. Um, <laughs> One of the lard on the yeah, witch part. Just a little. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so she just kind of like goes to her knees. And mm-hmm. She's like, she's crying. What have I done? Yeah. And then the other Wanda gets up and she walks over and she kind of like puts her hand on her chin and mm-hmm. looks at her and she's like, it's okay. You know, and she's like, know that they'll be loved. Yeah. Which we did we not hear. No idea what I she said. could not understand her. Yeah. I had no idea. I had to look it up. Yeah. Because we, we both got back to my apartment after we watched it, and we're like, what did she say <laughs> to, yeah. to, to Scarlet Witch? And yeah, uh, yeah. so I had to look it up, but that's what she says. Yeah, it was weird. And then America closes the portal because she knows this is the time that, mm-hmm. you know, she can close it now. She got it. She's, yeah, she's had her closure. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, she closes the portal. And she's like, y'all need to get out of here. I'm, I'm destroying this. Yeah, she's like, I'm going to destroy the dark hold. Yeah. That's that's what I have to do. Nobody will be plagued by the dark hold mm-hmm. in any universe. Nobody will be tempted by this anymore. Mm-hmm. I've got to do it. So America makes a portal, gets her and Wong Wong out of there. Mm -hmm. And so it's just Wanda and zombie zombie Doctor Strange. (laughs) (laughs) And she just basically pulls down Wondagore Mm -hmm. around them. Yep. But there's like this flash of red. Yeah. Did it kill her? Did Did she get out? What happened? Who knows? Hmm. Don't know. Not sure. Yeah. Unsure. Unsure. So she could possibly still yeah. be alive. I wouldn't Don't be know. surprised if she shows back up. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be either. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Strange Doctor Strange is back in his own body now. Mm-hmm. Um, Christine is there, uh, and the Dark Hold is destroyed. Yeah, the Dark Hold that's there, and mm-hmm. he's like, she destroyed them on- in all the universes. Yep. And then Doctor Strange and Christine have this little moment together yeah. where they say their goodbyes because he's kind of like, you know, you could come with me to my world if you really wanted to. Well, she was more like, how's your world? Is it Oh, is nice? that what it was? Yeah. Okay. And he's like, yeah, but the, but she's like, yeah, probably the probably the whole incursions. I yeah, guess. probably don't wouldn't wanna, work out. Don't you know, want to cause them those. Exactly. So they uh, basically. It doesn't really show him getting her in. He he tells her that you know he he loves her in every universe. Yeah. So 
Yeah. Nice line. And he was like, where'd um, you get that mole? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. But, uh, yeah, and that's it. They have their little, I guess they say their goodbyes or whatever, mm-hmm. and America takes them back to where they're supposed to be, and uh, that's it. Yeah. Then we see Doctor Strange well, f- gallivanting down the street. Well, first, first we see Kamartosh oh, being right. repaired. Yeah. America's there. She's like a trainee or whatever. Mm-hmm. And she's like... It's having a tough time. I don't get this. <laughs> Making those portals. It's much easier to do portals to other universes than yeah. it is to do these portals here. This <laughs> sucks. Uh, but she says that she's glad that she portaled into his world and mm-hmm. met him so that, you know... Yeah. It was, it was a good choice. Yeah. And he bows to Wong... Yes, he bows to Wong. He does. Because it's tradition. Tradition. <laughs> and then, then, yeah. he's walking down the street in New York. Yeah. And she's walking down the street. Having a good time. Having a good time. He's in normal clothes mm-hmm. and everything. And then he's like walking across the street and there's some mu- yeah, heavy metal music. And he's like, oh, this is hurting my head. Yeah. And then he suddenly looks up and <gasps> it's the eye. there's a third eye. Yeah. <laughs> his third eye opens. Is it because of his messing with the dark cold? I don't, don't know. know. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah. So there we go. That, that was the was end of that. the movie. And there were no mid credit <laughs> scenes or closing. Yeah. Really, no, no. Real no. weird. No, no, there were. So the first one, he's walking down the street again. Yeah. That's what he does, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And he's wearing this scarf and everything. Because I was like, <laughs> it doesn't look very doesn't cold. Look very but cold. okay. Yep. Anyway. It's so a very stylish scarf. He's walking down the street. He hears someone. Stephen Strange. Mm-hmm. He's like, well, who's calling my name? <laughs> Turns around. <laughs> It's Charlize Theron, yep. or Theron, however you say her purple. sting a name. <laughs> and she's like, hi, I'm Clea. <laughs> mm-hmm. We got some stuff to fix. Let's go, there's, buddy. There's a, we have to fix an incursion. Yeah. And she rips open. <laughs> the, yeah, the, just, just like the a Just the open air. Thing, yeah. She makes this little X got, in it or whatever. She got little Psylocke swords. Yeah, and they step through he's together. Like, oh, he, he's he like, pulls here's that my third scarf. eye, baby. <laughs> yeah, he pulls that scarf off. <laughs> yeah. And it turns into his, his cape. Yeah. Third eye opens and they yeah. walk through the portal together. Yeah. It and looks like, like they're going to the dark dimension. Yes. Which is where Probably. Dormammu is from. Yes. Which Probably. she is the niece of Dormammu. That's an so. interesting look for that family. Mm-hmm. From Dormammu yeah. to her. Okay. And in the comics, she marries Doctor Strange. Well, so. bye-bye, Christine. Yeah. Get he's out of here, Doctor Palmer. She's married. She doesn't... He's got he's to gotta move on with his life. Exactly. Why not? Get Charlize there on... She ain't got no mole. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't know that? <laughs> oh, well, I guess not. Oh, and Rachel McAdams, we apologize. Your mole's yes. very nice. It's, it's, it was just surprising. Yes. I don't know why. It just... I don't know why, how I've never seen it before. I don't either. Yeah. It was just... It took me by surprise. That's yeah. all it was. And then there was a really life-changing oh, after my gosh. credit yes. scene. Yes. After the post credit scene. Mm-hmm. Bruce Campbell. We check in back with him. Papa Pizza Man. Papa Pizza. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yep. And, and he's, finally he's finally stopped hitting himself. Stopped hitting himself. He's very bruised up. And he looks over at the camera and he <laughs> says, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And that was it. <laughs> yep. So, yep. And that was it. What did you think of the movie? Um, It was interesting. Yeah. There was so much going on. It was a lot. Had a lot of fun moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sets up a lot of stuff. It does. Yeah. It was all right. Yeah. I mean, it's not my favorite, but... Yeah. I don't know what my favorite is, so... Yeah. I, I thought the the fight between the Illuminati and Wanda was a little underwhelming. She wrecked them real hard. Oh, yeah. But, of course, they were cocky, and mm-hmm. she is very powerful, but... Yeah. Yeah. So, there were some letdowns there. And a lot of the movie, like... I like Sam Raimi. I like Sam Raimi movies. Mm-hmm. But they always feel like... Like, they're still, he gives them a little indie movie feeling. Mm-hmm. They're not really polished in yeah. a lot of places. And that, it kind of sticks out to me sometimes. <laughs> like, I don't know. There was just, like, especially at the end, the whole, all the end stuff when he gets the third eye, it just seemed weird. It just, it felt yeah. very evil daddy. And, like, I like that, but it's also kind of dated and not really mcu but I don't know. Yeah. And, and the... CGI at the beginning when Wong is fighting that that Shumagorath mm-hmm. creature, that CGI was real bad. I wasn't really paying attention. It I guess. was bad. Yeah, 
it looked it looked pretty rough. So um, but there was, I, I had fun. Yeah, there was something else that kind of bothered me. I don't know why, but there was this part where when Wanda was dreamwalking, she was like going through, but there was some music that was playing, and I just felt like it didn't fit. No, oh, yeah, something about it. It's a Danny Elfman soundtrack on this. So. Yeah, but I don't feel like it was a Danny Elfman song. Hmm, it seemed know. like it was more of a like a like a song with was there a song with singing in it? Like I don't know. I have no idea. I don't See, remember. I'm not sure because you know we've only seen it once, so it's yeah. kind of hard to remember stuff like that. But I don't know. There was something off about it. Yeah. Um. Also, there are people online who are just so annoyed by the whole Illuminati being killed off because they're like, yeah. "How could you kill off all those characters?" And it's like, like they're it's another not. Universe. It's another universe. Yeah. Calm down. That's why you do other universes so you can kill everybody. So you can kill people. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, you don't have the people in those characters in your, your, the universe that, mm-hmm. you know, the normal universe, they don't have to face those consequences. Yeah. You know, they don't have to deal with those people being dead. Right. They can keep doing their own little thing. Yeah. That's the whole point of it. What are you, why yeah. are you complaining about that? Yeah. So that was annoying. That, that is dumb. Yeah. And they're like, but that, you're totally missing the point. <laughs> it's like, no, you're missing the point. Yeah. Yeah. When everybody on Twitter is telling you, uh, girl, calm down. Do you not understand this? And you block all of them? Yeah. I yeah, think you're the problem. one with the problem. Yeah. So. So I think I like <laughs> what this movie set up more than maybe the movie. Okay. Because I like the John Krasinski, mm-hmm. Mr. Fantastic. I like Professor X. Mm-hmm. There's X-Men probably. And I like the Inhumans being brought back and hopefully in a good way (laughs) and yeah and just and incursions and crazy stuff a whole lot of possibilities so Mm -hmm. i'm excited for where it's going but yeah this movie uh, maybe i was just overhyped on it maybe I, i was maybe i was wanting a little more and I feel I'm kind of scared now Aww. because I'm really hyping up for Love and Thunder, and I'm I like, mean, "It's it's a Taika Waititi. It is Taika Waititi, and I it's love gonna be him. fun. He's so good. It's, I mean, it's gonna be fun regardless. I hope so. So yeah. I mean, plus you've got the Guardians of the Galaxy in there. Mm-hmm. You've got Thor. There's some Valkyrie in there. Yeah. You've got Jane now coming mm-hmm. in as female Thor. Surely it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be a fun time. You've got the Greek gods nice. and all that stuff too. Yeah. And another yeah. problem with this movie was it's coming right off of Spider Man where they did multiverse stuff and it yeah. was so good. <laughs> like, yeah. It was, it, I like that movie so much better. Yeah. So, I can see that. It was in a bad situation, I guess. But a lot of good stuff though. So, mm-hmm. all right. Well, is that anything? Did we miss anything? I don't think we two and need hours? to say anything else because <laughs> this is the longest podcast episode we've had so far. It part, is. And we got to stop. All right. Well, good thing we didn't have a snack this week. Yeah. But you can go to our YouTube page where we just, you actually just put mm-hmm. out the new Yums. Universal s- Yums. Universal Yums snack. Mm-hmm. T- test that did I die during the test? We'll see. You'll have to you'll have to watch it to find out. There were a lot of things <laughs> in there. Is this an impersonator you're talking right now? Yeah. There were a lot of things in there that he is allergic to, so <laughs> it was dicey. And then of course later, like two weeks later, we got an email or I got an email that was like, um, you might not want to eat these certain things because <laughs> you could get salmonella. And I was Oopsie. like, Wow, great. Thanks for letting me know two weeks after I ate them. <laughs> Yeah. Although I didn't eat one of them, I, I still hadn't eaten all of. I had only eaten the little bit that we ate during yeah. the video, so I did throw that away just in case because I don't yeah. want to get sick. Better safe than sorry on that. Exactly. But you can check that out. Um, what's our channel name? We're it- having fun podcast. All right, easy enough. Mm-hmm. Or and you can let us know what you thought of Doctor Strange. What was your favorite universe? Which one do you want to see explored? And should Oscar Isaac win or an Emmy? Yep. And that's you can tell us on Twitter at Having Fun Cast or on Facebook at Having Fun Pod. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna also, if you really want to, you can give us suggestions about what we should cover next because mm. we actually don't have anything on the schedule for next week or Uh-oh. the week after Uh-oh. or the week after I think <laughs> so uh, yeah well maybe the week after that I don't know but we've we've got some room in the schedule so there if you'd you like to hear us cover something mm-hmm. let us know you can do that by of course going to one of the social media places that we've already mentioned or you can send us an email at havingfunpod at gmail.com alright well go out there and have fun and we will see you next week. 
Yeah. Goodbye. Later, skaters. <laughs>